Hello, hello, friend. How are we doing? I hope we're all having a grand time. Uh, there we are. Yeah, we here. Uh, this one goes away. Hey, it's Gref, the man who made it to the round of four without a computer today. Congrats. <laughs> I heard SSL was a big success for you. <laughs> Yo, Javier. <laughs> You'd love to see it. <laughs> the one time Gref doesn't cannon rush you, it's because he <laughs> didn't show up. The most macro Gref will ever play is just not showing up. All right, so how are we all doing? It's Saturday. I got like four hours of sleep. I'm expecting a call. I'm expecting a call from my mechanic because my car's in the shop this morning, which is why I got four hours of sleep. So if I have to mute real quick, just so you know, I am expecting a phone call where they're going to tell me if it's the cheap fix or the really expensive fix. And I'm really hoping it's the cheap fix <laughs> because it's, Five hundred dollars, or twenty three hundred dollars. <laughs> Next CSL, you got you got to show up, grab. I've missed the cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy's calling me out for not uh so Roddy is casting a Vulcan Cup event and he's calling me out. He's like, This is the first time I've seen you on BNet. I'm like I watch the game at least once a month. <laughs> <coughs> I am personally feeling attacked. <laughs> oh man. Alright, speaking of personally attacked, let's look at the bracket. Oh, is there any updates? No. No one else has signed up at the last moment. Praise the good Lord. <laughs> All right. What are we looking at here? All right. Gunner and Stranic are our front runners, it looks like. This is rough seating. This is, it's kind of accurate. All right. Knock and Rarka. Rarka. Oh, Rarka's having a rough go of it, guys, recently. He's lost um, a couple of things recently. He lost to a couple of heroes we were talking about. Uh, Najee was one, and I don't remember who the other one was. Uh, Ellis Drain, a hero, obviously. Um, I don't know either of these guys, actually. Casimir, Guitar King. Fellow Giga Chad. Crow, of course. Right out. And Havior, our Brood War. Our Brood War man himself is here to show us how much easier StarCraft 2 is. <laughs> Just hit F2. Yeah, Havior, don't forget, you can F2 in this game. <laughs> All right, we still got a minute here, though, until check-in is done, so we can't finalize the bracket. <laughs> Graf, learn to cannon rush in Brood War. Easy solution. I know a guy. I know a guy who will teach you how to... How to cannon rush in Brood War. I know a guy. I know a guy who's very good. Mmm, pisses me off because he cannon rushes me all the time. But I, I know a guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, F2. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, Brood War is just a much more demanding game. It's, it is harder, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh, there is it. There we are. Oh. <laughs> I'm just posting Roddy roasting me in his Discord real quick.
<laughs> All right, there we are. <laughs> Oh, man. I love Roddy. <laughs> Roddy's a great guy. Uh, what are we up to? Oh, my God. Bisu is cracked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the 9-9. Nine -nine, he just sends out across the map until you win. LOL. Um. All right, let's take a look at check-ins and such. I'll bring you guys along for the ride. <laughs> Too slow for Brew War. Man, just play Terran then. You just move tanks up, like, just a little bit at a time. All you do is you take a tank, you move it, you move it. <laughs> That's the slowest way to play. All right, let's see. What do we got here? All right, didn't check in, didn't check in. Did check in last minute. Uh, Zerker man. All right. Yep. He's seated correctly. Uh, knock didn't check in. Oh, well. And shuffle seeds. Ah, fuck everyone. <laughs> That'll ruin someone's day. Process check in results. What are we looking at here? All right. Rarkon guitar. Okay. We're casting this. Haunt. No, I, I did promise Tavior I'd cast his. This is a, this is a banger. I, I think we'll cast this one because I did tell Javier I would cast it if you want if you played I'd I'd cast it. So that should be fun. Um, and then Silver Crow is gonna do Silver Crow things and then lose in the semis. <laughs> Poor Silver Crow, <laughs> he's gonna get my he's taking all my money ten bucks at a time. <laughs> he's so good. It's just he always ends up against like Stranic or something in the semis and just immediately gets sent to the third. <laughs> All right, let's hit start the tourney. All right. See, so, yeah. nah, hey, this is going to be the best content. Trust me, it's going to be great content. We're going to make it great. We're going to make content great at weight. No. Mm. No, I can't say that one. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, walk over is... Uh, I will round up to an even 20. Uh, okay. We should be good to go. Yep, bracket is good. All right, perfect. Just, you know, got to double check everything real quick. Uh. Oh, guys, if you're curious about Stormgate, if you want to talk about this upcoming new RTS that they won't talk about, I made a video on it. All right. See you later, Gref. Have fun. Have fun cannon rushing. Um, Yeah. If you guys are curious about Stormgate, I made a video based on some alpha footage that got leaked. Watch it while you can before the lawyers come after it. <laughs> Gref's going to cannon rush life. Cannon rushing Lisbon. Go cannon rush Russia, bro. <laughs> Just... Moscow suddenly surrounded by cannons. What? 
<laughs> ah, Putin wasn't expecting it. Ah, he didn't have probes in place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grab, you have fun. Uh. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we got a couple minutes here. Looks like um, a couple of the players need a few minutes here to get organized, so, eh, you know. I mean, we just kind of move our chair in, we lean back. We sit up, though, a little bit, because, you know, posture is still important, even if you're leaning back. You want your want your spine to be straight. Because if you're going to be a degenerate, at least be a healthy one. I say is I'm actually an incredibly unhealthy degenerate. <coughs> <coughs> oh, to be fair, I walk a lot for work these days, so. <coughs> Drink your water, smoke your weed, be healthy. <laughs> I'm not a health expert. The heck? Does this matter? Uh, Naji's doing Naji things. Got it. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Basically, everyone we're waiting on is just like, oh, guys, I need a minute. Oh, I need a minute. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> actual Pepe hands moment. Mm, not important. Perfect. All right. Don't mind me. I'm just checking discords and everything to make sure that no one needs anything from me. Let's see here. As you said, he should be on here next minute or so. So we can get the Brood War Menace. <laughs> the Brood War Man. I actually don't even know what race he plays in StarCraft 2. I assume Terran, because, you know, he's an honorable macro, Terran. But, I mean, he could play Protoss because he wanted it to be easier. Did the full Artosis. <laughs> and then just got Artosis Pylon, probably. Checks out. <laughs> no, let's just ask him. Well. Oh, he's asking about rapid fire. I oh, this is a technical question. I'm not a nerd. I don't know these things. Um, all right. This is the problem with StarCraft, is that there's no... He's asking about rapid fire. And I know that rapid fire, what you have to do is you have to set it... There's a there's a text document, all right? And you go in there, and there's a setting where it's like um, activation keys or something. I don't remember what it's called. But then whatever whatever keys you put in there, it'll just continuously fire them every time the keyboard rec recognizes it repeats. And so... But, but you just have to know where it is and how to use it. It's not like a setting, because fuck you, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes StarCraft shows the fact that it is 13 years old and counting. Ah, oh, 
god. Guys, StarCraft is old. <laughs> StarCraft 2 is older than most of the players. <laughs> For most of the... It's about in age with the pro players, I should say. You have, like, the Evas that are, like, eight years old. Ruining the curve. Mm, yeah, sorry, guys. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I'm waiting for a game. I'm waiting for a phone call. Or I'm only so interesting. I accept that. People seem to actually be enjoying the Stormgate video, which I didn't expect to do well. I expected it to, like, people to be like, oh, wow, that was just uh, that was a weird video. I didn't really like it. Cause I'm not really good at the style of video that I made. And it seems that everyone's enjoying it, at least to some level. You know, you are, I guess. <laughs> And YouTube is also weird. I don't I don't understand YouTube these days. Alright. Well, he should be here. Oh he is. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, we got players here. Alright. All right, so what MMR is Kaz? Uh, all right, so they are within a couple hundred MMR of each other. All right, Kazmir being like four seven ish. Yeah, four seven four eight range. Havier being you know like four. He said like between four 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 five, but he also is a little bit rusty, so because he's a brood war guy. Yeah, the, the odds the, the odds are stacked against him, but he's also just mechanically solid when it comes to like brood wars. So, <laughs> all right. All right, we're just getting some banter going here. Making fun of Brood War and StarCraft II Terrans. Collectively, I'm making fun of all of the Terrans. So, yeah, Brood War TVZ, StarCraft II TVZ is all the same, basically. So, Havior's really got it locked in here. Trying to bait out some jokes. All right, guys, we got a lobby. We did it. All right. Got a lot of you just waiting for have. All right. Have your shoot. I guess you should call him Have when I shorten his name. Oh, there he is. Taryn's doing Taryn things. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm making fun of have now because you know when you post a lobby link in a StarCraft 2 chat you get like a hyperlink basically you just click it and it brings you into the game and so I'm making fun of like oh man he finally learned how hyperlinks worked <laughs> alright guys but that right there is the sound of a game on it's way 
Oh, I don't have to do any scoreboard things or anything. Ah, StarCraft 2 Observing. It's too easy, guys. StarCraft 2 is easy mode. <laughs> Just got to make sure I hit the right cast button. Mm -hmm. Don't need the one with the Brood War overlay. Oh, but I do need to turn Twitch chat back on. Uh, that goes back on. That goes back on. And that goes back on. There we are. I was using this scene to try something out the other day. All right, guys. Here we go. We got some StarCraft. Mmm. Ah, it makes you feel all good inside. Oh. <laughs> We've got a pause. Let's go. It makes you feel all warm inside. <laughs> oh, I'm an observer. I can't make fun of him. <laughs> Classic terror moment. <laughs> Zero APM. All right. Game resumed. All right, guys. For reals this time. For reals, I promise. Spawning here in the bottom left hand side with the green Zerg drones playing for team Gosu. Give it up for Kazmir. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, I, I couldn't do Kazmir any sort of justice right now. And on the top right hand side with the classic command center. I like, I love the classic command center. I hate how it becomes an orbital and a planetary. They look so bad. The classic SCVs, though, they look, they look great, no matter what. Give it up for Havior, our Brood War Terran player. Ah, oh, this is going to be stuck in my head now. Ah, oh, some Led Zeppelin cashmere. All right, hatch gas pool coming on down here. Oh, my neck. Just everything just cracked. I'm sorry you had to hear that chat. All right. We're going to go Reaper. Yeah, buddy. We don't have um, Observer Plus Plus or Game Hard on. So I have to do this the old fashioned way of paying attention. Oh, this is going to be rough. Although... In a couple hours, we should have a dedicated observer. Um, is that a message about the tournament? Sorry, I'm just double checking if a message I got is tournament related or, yeah. All right, unimportant. All right. So yeah, Reaper into Marine into Reactor. It looks like. It's nice and safe, just in case of any Protoss shenanigans. SCV patrolling to check for third base. Alright, that grenade. <laughs> there was an attempt. Ah, oh, he wants that Ling. He really wanted that Ling. Overlord checking around the map for any sort of weird things. Yeah, just that doesn't look good. That looks beautiful. This? Mm -mm. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it at all. Alright, Reaper's gonna jump in here. Oh, Xavier, come on. You you can get you can see everything. Oh, well, not anymore. He could have gotten the perfect scout off. He's YOLO swag it on in there. Cashmere right here throwing down a bunch of queens. We got some cars coming up, a safety bunker. Just, you know, one of those better safe than sorry. Alright, here we are. We're running for the scout now. Oh, Ling's too slow. Get out of my game, bro. Oh. Ling's not too slow. <laughs> Ling's in fact good unit. <laughs> All 
Alright. Overlord will see what that we, you know, standard 111 things happening here. Liberator. Okay. So we're going to do some Hallian Liberator. We're going we're gonna to go into mech. Okay. You know what? This is what I get for making a joke, chat. I make a joke that StarCraft 2 Brood War, StarCraft 2 and Brood War had the same TVZ, right? Because it's just bio play. In Brood War, it's the only matchup you play bio. In StarCraft 2, you just play bio because it's good. All right. Scans the main, sees the layer, and no tech. Misses the spire. This feels incredibly Brood War moment. <laughs> you scan it, you just miss the spire, and you're like, oh, is he going hydras? And then you die to Metalisks. Xavier's about to have some PTSD. But as I was saying, he's just like, he took exception to me saying that. He's like, you want to see me play this differently? He just goes into mech. What a Chad. Oh, baby. That's a fusion core. Oh, I told Xavier. He's, he's like, oh, you don't have to cast my games. It might not be good content. I'm like, bro, bro, it's going to be great content. Trust me. You just you just know when you're knower sometimes. Yeah, shift Q Liberator, get out of here. Oh that's Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Alright, cars moving on out here. Single marine moving on out. I told him about the F2 button, and he um, he really liked it. Oh, my God. Why did we pull the drones into the cars? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a... Oh. oh, man. All right. These two Hallians going to sacrifice their life for uh, scouting. 16 drones went down for nine Hallians. just misses the mutas he did scout the spire though with the cars so turrets are coming there's a bunker with no marines my man you can salvage that <laughs> all right unfortunately hellions don't shoot up and he's literally losing to brood war moment <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe when I said that um, Brood War and StarCraft 2 had the same TVZ, I was right. Because you both lose to <laughs> Ling Muta. <laughs> okay, well. Guys, I don't understand this game sometimes. <laughs> the players are playing their own version of the game. That's all I've got to say. All right, Cyclone's coming on up here. Widow memes. All right. Double armory. Ooh, look at that little bit of micro, you know, just moving under it first before shooting to make sure he doesn't get a chance to retaliate. We don't have any other anti here besides this single cyclone in the battle cruiser. Dropping another bunker in the wall. I mean, what? Oh, the mines are here. Zerg is like, fuck this. All right, cancel that. Rebuild it. All right, upgrade spinning away. His worker count is super low, though. I mean, both of them are playing low eco games right now. But, like, Havier is, like, behind heavily at this point. Like, mules are good, guys, but they're not that good. I think he forgot about the SCV button. All right. Muta's coming in here, picking off some of the uh, workers. Yeah, man, really listen to me when I said F2. 
<laughs> Perfect, guys. It, we got the mines to hit him. Yeah. Working as intended. Alright, overseers are here to deal with the mine infestation. Run, vehicles, run! And we're going roaches on the back of this. Now there's a chance that we can spot these. Yep, there we go. Alright, get that tank in position. Dude, the man's going for box art army here, you know? We got a Thor, a tank, a battle cruiser, two mines, and two Hellions. This man saw the box art and went, that. That's the composition I need for my army. <laughs> Ling, Muta, Corruptor, Roach, Ravager. Okay. Like, I like some of this. Like, Roach Corruptor's not, like, Roach Corruptor's a comp. Like, it, it works. It's just the little mishmashes of everything. Get those mines in the dirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zerg almost managed to fumble that. <laughs> G G. Gazmir's going to take game number one. All right. Okay. There we are. We got a map. Now we just need a lobby and we'll be good to go. Fuck, that is just going to be stuck in my head all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's a great song. Alright, they hosted with Game Heart this time. So, hey. We have the even easier viewing experience now. So easy, a crazed drug maniac could do it. All right, guys. Fear of the dark. Ooh. Mm. Hey, I just thought about it. I could listen to music that you guys wouldn't be able to hear. Like I could just be jamming out if I just muted my Brood War channel, but that's also where the alerts go through, so if I wanted alerts, you kind of need it, but... Also, I could just <laughs> turn it off and listen to music. And I'm just sitting here just... And you guys are like, the hell is he on? <laughs> Alright, guys. Spawning here in the bottom right-hand side of Gressvan. We have with the green drones. Didn't, didn't. I I'm so tired today. I'm musicked out. Give it up for Kashmir. It's Kashmir, I guess. But yeah, you know. And then top left hand side, the Brood War Brood War specialist guys, our Terran Hope and our Terran Hero. Give it up for Havior. 
Remember, Tavior like Savior because he is the Terran Savior. Easy branding. Uh, mm, this isn't very uh, this isn't very cashmere of you, bro. <laughs> I Oh, I assume it's a texture bug or something. <laughs> Doesn't matter, bro. You're about to get cheesed. <laughs> Feels Zerg. <laughs> Here come the boys. Do 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 do. <laughs> Here come the boys, and I say they're the best combat unit in the game. <laughs> Not nearly as good as they are their older counterparts. These new um, these new vehicle suits. Not the greatest, but damn, they're still good. All right, this is causing a massive reaction here. Pull a hatch on the back of this. All right, so a sick trick. If you're going to do that, all right, and your goal is to actually block them for a bit, what you do is as you cancel the hatchery, there is a 3x3 three three of creep. You drop an Evo chamber, and it'll start building. There's your there's your sick micro trick of the day. All right. Second racks coming on up here with a reactor. With how many units Cashmere had, a solid 2 on 1 could do some could do yeah, a 2 on 1 here. I don't hate it. 2 on 1 is one of my personal favorites actually. All right. Scout construction vehicle getting killed. All right, yeah. Give me stim. Give me man with gun. Look at these guys. They are so ready to shoot some zerglings. And let me tell you, the there's no zerglings. Oh, this is going to be bad. This could be very bad or very good. All right, we're going into roaches. All right, bunker up here. Remember, always use a bunker for being safe. Oop. There we are. All right, and Kashmir is really droning hard here. He's building some links now, but he's been droning really hard. He skipped these links for so long. I'm, I'm very interested to see how this goes for him. You know, if he actually wants to be aggressive into this, he's going to have a bad time. Depending on when he hits. Cause you gotta remember how much more mobile the Terran army is than the Zerg army in a moment like this. All right. Yeah, I told you they were ready to gun down some Zerglings. All right, we've got the drop going. Um, uh, full Terran moment here. He's got a hole in the wall. Uh, all right, flies out right past the Overlord. He's like, wait, no, 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 come back. Ah, uh, this is a unfortunate moment here all right stim is good the boys just vibing boys been listening to the, you know the beach boys and they're just they're just vibing oh no not the tank 
Oh, Giga Micro God. Look at this guy go. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, no matter how much easier StarCraft 2 is, you still got to play it in order to be good at it. GG is called. And Kashmir going to clean up in a 2-0. GG's. Yeah, and that's just one of those things where it's, all right, yeah, you haven't, you clearly just haven't played in a while, and that's kind of why you lost. <laughs> that happens, you know. All right. Let's see, what have we got next? Oh. Uh, probably pick up with Stranic next. That'd be basically just following Cashmere. He's I don't Stranic's very good, guys. <laughs> Coming from the guy who two one one. No, also like he skipped a bunch of links and then went, like he built up his economy really quick and then just all in basically. All right, so Radow beat Zerker. Uh, I was playing Silver Crow. Cashmere, obviously. We could get this. Yeah, I think these two are happening. All right. That's where we're at. All right. Uh. All right, guys, I'm going to go BRB real quick while we find the next game, guys. Don't go anywhere. We've got more StarCraft. Be right back.
Alright, alright, alright. We've got a lobby. Which means we've got more StarCraft. There's always more StarCraft, though. Just waiting for them to be ready. I've done my part. I showed up. All right, guys, here we go. Round two. Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Loading screens. I've never understood why Brood or why StarCraft 2 needed loading screens like that. Well, yeah, obviously, Brood War didn't have them. But I'm just like, hmm, why does StarCraft 2 need them? Is it the size of the map or is it something else, you know? Is it the fact that you have to connect to the server since this is server-based? Whereas Brood War is peer-to-peer? -peer? <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah, you know, CSL, SC2, it happens. All right, spawning gear in the bottom left-hand side of altitude. Give it up for Kashmir. Alright, and then top right hand side. Everyone knows him. You love him. This guy's great. Give it up for Stranic. Oh, next week's the land, here, Rob. Are you ready? Are you coming? I want to see everyone there. All the Brood War boys. Ah, it's not that bad. I... Alright. I fly to Germany. <laughs> I'll be flying to Germany again in December for Home Story Cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. We will be live all day. We had a good crew of people there to make it fun, too, hopefully. Alright. Gate expand here. Ah, I'm I'm excited. I genuinely think it's gonna be a fun time. And that's really all I care about. Mm. Now there's something that you'll see in Brood War: probes killing your drones when you're not looking. What the fuck? Where are all my drones go? Probe has three kills. For legal reasons, that's never happened to me. <laughs> nah. Dude, nice. do it. Home Story Cop, let's go. Stargate is our attack of choice here. Yeah, I, I never expected, a, honestly... It's bigger than I expected already. Like, it is genuinely a step above where I expected it to be. In terms of size already. And so, like, obviously I was like, oh, we're going to knock it out of the park. And I was like, all right, that's like the fun. That's the fun number I like to throw around. Here's the number I expect. And we're like here right now. And I was like, okay, okay. Actually, we're probably closer to here. If this is the fun number, then yeah, we're like actually about here. I think I was joking around saying, like, I would love to see 30 or 40 people, and we're at 15, 12 to 15 right now, something like that. I don't remember the exact number. I'm a bad admin. I suck at administrative work, I'll admit. Yeah, and I mean, we're going to have... We've got at least three casters. All right, Adept's going to get in here. Kill a drone. We're going into Void Ray. So no Oracle. Interesting. Interesting choice. Zerg happily just macroing away here. Mm. 
there are no overlords around here actually second stargate okay did we just not push out overlords i guess not keeping the overlords close to home which actually works in his favor because stranic went void ray but is generally like the worst option because he doesn't know anything that's happening this Oracle is going to show up at an anti-timing and just kill four or five drones. And Stranic's like worried. He's like, where are your overlords? Why are you hiding them? A common thing to do is if you're hiding your... Um, if you want to go Nidus, you hide your overlords. So that way if they do something like a Void Ray check, they don't see it. Yo, Drain, how we doing? All right. I know I've said a lot about Brood War today, but we're going Hydras, guys. Yes, semis are best of five. All right, at this point, the void ray is shown. Ah, uh, get out there and win. It's not even the, we're not in the semis yet. You're still in round two, I think, right? Or did you win? Ah, get wrecked, Ling. Nerd. Oh, you won. Nice. Congrats. But you, you're still not starting yet, right? Because the other one is... um. There's still the other match happening, right? All right. We had a couple of Lings and a few Hydras. All right. We got a, a bit of Lings and some Hydras. Dude. What the fuck? Excuse me? I think, I think Kadri feels as disrespected as I do by this. <laughs> Dude, all I'm saying is that I have been talking about a Hydra. We, I've had an idea for a rework of the Hydra for a while now, right? On the scale of like a year and change. And a couple days ago, I watched a Loco video where he outlined the change. He's like, I've been hearing this. And I'm like, I've been saying this. It's such a good rework. It would make so much sense. It would streamline Hydra Lurker to being a viable comp. Like going, um, you know, you play Hydras into Lurkers, kind of like you do in Brood War. It would give tech over the course of the whole game and encourage you to continue teching up and expanding and, you know, building that late game. And... Uh, uh. All right, guys, we're, we're on the rant. I'm sorry. It, it started. We can't... This cannot be stopped. So this is what you do, all right? Hydra, the Hydra Den can be built at Hatchery Tech, all right? We're bringing it back now. They want, oh, by the way, these one-shot workers, but it takes five of them to one-shot a queen. So queens will not be one-shot by this, but this will be funny. All right, Hydra Den becomes Hatchery Tech. Still costs gas, but it becomes Hatchery Tech. So you can build it right out of the gate. You then... All of the Hydra upgrades, you lock behind layer tech, all right? So if you want groove spines and if you want, you know, all your good shit, you have to go into layer tech, all right? So now it's forcing you to continue teching up. Now, you can get your uh, lurker den at uh, layer tech as well while you're there. All right, so now you got lurkers. You got some good hydras and you got some lurkers. Oh, these guys are... Kill one. Yeah... All right, one of them dies. So, but all your lurker upgrades are hidden behind the hive tech. So now, like, okay, your hatchery tech, you know that they're going to have stuff. You start building up. You build a couple of hydras, you know. This is your, your main unit for a bit. And then you're upgrading your hydras so that way they're good. And then, you know, after that, okay, let's transition into lurkers. You start that transition to lurker as your hydras are good. Oh, yeah, this game's absolutely over. He, he just built a bunch of corruptors to deal. Uh, no, Zerg's getting... <laughs> yeah, you showed up at the worst time. <laughs> you showed up at the worst time. <laughs> GG's. I was ex I actually showed up at the best time. I'm explaining my hydrary work that Loco even said was a good idea. I don't know if... He didn't attribute it to me, but I know I've been say I was saying it in his Discord like a year ago. Uh, because there was four Tempests. 
Stranic went double Stargate into four Tempests. And then into a ground army. No carriers. Void Ray into Oracle into Tempests. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> if you want to, um, <laughs> this is Eastern Europe, StarCraft 2. <laughs> that's true. That is some Stranic level strategies. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. But Fiat, you ready? Are you ready? The greatest rework to Hydra's. And to make Hydra and Lurker a viable, like, all game tech. All right. All right. Here we go. Hydra Den, Hatchery Tech, Hydra Upgrades, Layer Tech, uh, Lurker Den, <laughs> Layer Tech, yeah, and then Lurker Upgrades, Hive Tech. It's so fucking good. I know I say it a lot, but it, damn it, it's a good idea. <laughs> uh, there we are. All I'm picturing when I hear Russian ZVZ is just like a bunch of lings doing like a fucking Rasputin dance. And that's that's what comes through my head. Alright. <laughs> Bad drones are sent to Siberia. <laughs> You did not gather enough gas. You go to Siberia. <laughs> easy. That's easy, Fiat. 10 meter? Bruh. <laughs> Where was your family from a generation ago? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> Just enjoy making fun of the, you know, the USSR's camps. Siberia, I Siberia is huge, actually. All right, two gates. Okay, Stranic is just Stranic is just playing his own game here. I love to see it. <laughs> So, I was watching <laughs> Cashmere doing a road rush. Okay, okay. No, uh, he hasn't scouted at. Mm. Alright, so he did scout the early pool. He didn't see this at all. Dude. Yeah, the battery battery signal say he knows what's up. That's probably why he went two gates into Cybercore here, so that way he had a full wall immediately. Dude, the CC overcharge is a really neat I like the idea. It's currently broken. Like the CC overcharge and Stormgate is such a cool idea, but it's just so good right now. Well, two gate opener is a, a brood war build. Like, it's a it's a solid brood war build, but also, generally what you would do is you go gateway into core into second gate if you're worried about the link flood, because you do want that early wall, but usually you do cyber before gate. All right, Cashmere doesn't throw all of his units away into batteries. <laughs> Challenge impossible. Well, oh, hit our own gateways. Yeah, teach that gateway. Oh my god, these batteries are just doing work. You're not allowed to say that. No one wants the mothership core. Oh, there's no nexus, by the way. So these all spawn with half health or half energy.
All right. Honestly, some vials here. Just try and break open this wall a little bit. Or try and take down the like batteries, you know, bile the batteries. Or, or like right in here we can get the pylon and the batteries. Biling spots like this are going to be just more effective in the long run. Hey, I'm a Protoss Chobo. Dude, imagine a spine crawler. You just you build a queen, you drop a tumor, you drop the spine like here. It picks away at this gateway. Oh, Stranic will win here. Stranic is also like five, six hundred MMR, no, uh, five hundred MMR above Cashmere. Yeah, GG. Just very, very good response from Stranic. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Good, good, valiant attempt from Cashmere, but unfortunately, Stranic is just built different, guys. <laughs> Battery, good unit. All right, let's take a gander. All right, there's our winner. Look at our champ, LS Drain. This we just saw. This is happening. I want to get into this. This is where I want to try and find my way into. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can't find anyone for this. All right. Uh. Yeah. Dude, it's a, it's a good building. Yeah, I'm just checking with uh, Rarka, Guitar King, and uh, Gunner, seeing if anyone knows where that series is at. <sighs> yeah, I can tell that I got no sleep last night, guys. <laughs> I can feel it. Well, so much for two to three hours. My mechanic shop told me they'd call me in two to three hours. And, um, yeah, it's officially no longer three hours. Yeah, they haven't called me. If they do call me, I'll probably have to just go BRB immediately. So I'm just going to let you guys know ahead of time. I, oh, um, I am currently in the, I have to battle tomorrow with inside job Fuck. <laughs> to see who makes it out second in our group. This is the, um, the final, I'm in the final match. I lost to Polo cause Polo's cracked. Like, uh, yeah. And then I beat lamb and now I'm going against inside job and inside job is one, better than me at the game. Two, my ZVT is literal jog shit. <laughs> like, I am so bad at ZVT. So, I'm not looking forward to that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I... No, nine pool. I can four pool him, bro. All 
All right, one second here, guys. We're server chasing. Yep, I just saw their Discord message. Oh shit, we're getting into game three. Uh, I don't care about my league placement game. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we found it. We found the I like I said at the beginning. I I wanted to see Havior play because I think that was much more fun. But when I looked at this series, I knew it was going to be just a fucking slugfest. And I was like, you know what? That's yeah, fine. <laughs> I mean, we're talking... It is... We're an hour into the tournament and they're just starting game three. So we're talking like a probably a 40-minute game. One or two. I'd assume like, you know, a 15-20 minute game and then like a 30-40 minute game. Uh, <laughs> these guys are beasts. All right. Here we go. Spawning here in the bottom left-hand side with the red drones playing for platoon. Give it up for Rarka. Who doesn't love another Eastern Zerg? And his opponent in the top right hand side playing for Psy Storm Gaming. Give it up for this guy. This is a man of the chat, guys. This is this man is part of the chat, so he truly embodies chat star league. Give it up for Guitar King. Great guy, actually. I'm, when was the last time I talked to him? I haven't talked to him in a hot minute, actually, I don't think. He's a great guy though. I like him. Also, the Psy Storm guys are pretty cool. Never actually met any of the platoon guys in a, at a person event. For <laughs> mostly because you know I've only started going to events since the war started, so eh. Which one? Raka or Guitar King? All right. Arakas, yeah. He's got that Eastern flair. All right, pulls up. That's nice coming. Next is before core, as you'd expect from a greedy, greedy Protoss player. This man can smell minerals a mile away. <laughs> What? <laughs> but it worked. That's the thing. Can we say it's bad if it worked? You don't have to like it. But can you say it's bad? All right. Stargate coming on up here. All right. Adept's going out into Stalker here. It's going to make sure the Overlord stays on his pervert pillar. And just kind of peeps his head around, you know. That's why it's called a pervert pillar. He's like, mm -hmm. what you working on? <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> Oracle, okay. Guitar King playing a bit more standard than our um, our friends. All right. Oh, run, Mister Overlord, run!
pop. Got him, boys. Uh, no, this is still the game. This is the game before your game. Yeah, so you, you have plenty of time. All right. I do chasing down some links. Nexus goes down. Guitar King going to go ahead and save his Ling. Burn a bit of energy. And the Oracle staying home. Marka gets time to get up his spores. You know, he's not really worried about the Oracle. He's like, oh, it's still on your side of the map. Like, this is fine. All right, just Oracle and Robo Twilight Forge. All right, so we're going to do a Warp Prism push with Twilight units. Probably uh, Blink Stalker. Although, if you're going to go Blink Stalker, usually you have, like, four or five oracles. Like, you you go you go for four. Oh, no. You can't go for four oracles if you lose them. Four oracles requires building more oracles, not less. This is one oracle. Gonna get a kill at least. Oh no no now it's gonna be nunicles. All right now he he escapes. It's still just one nickel. I do think that takes the that that might be the dumbest thing I've ever said. Like that just series of sentences might be like the lowest my AQ has ever been. Also. Artosis would be proud. Artosis in the distance somewhere. Clapping away at the strongest carrying Artosis pylon. Templar Archives. So we're going to get some Stormy Boys and Archons. You know, the highest of Templar. Charge plus one. Okay. We're building zealots, boys. Archon Immortal Zealot? No Immortals, though. So it's just Archon Zealot? All right, Archon Charge Lot's not a bad comp, but... It's going to struggle against Roaches. Not that I see any on the map, but... Yeah, there's some coming. Yeah, you definitely need an Immortal or two to punch through those Roaches. Because they'll rip your zealots apart, and then the Archons just don't do much. But he's hoping to win on this push. Oh, we're going to grab a queen. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. All right, we got the whole knitting crew here. Yeah, and we just have no real way of dealing with the roaches. Oh, bye, Archon. Oh, Prism. Oh. Does it matter? Do we just have enough bullshit? Guitar, come on. Don't bully the man like that. Don't AFK half your army. All right. Yeah, remember when I said that, you know, this should be fine with roaches? Well, he really just wanted to prove me wrong. Unfortunately, this is about as... This is about as bad as it can get before he just GG. All right, Prism is here to slap a little bit of disrespect on this name. 23 workers have gone down on this push. And this hatchery. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Ah, that was a solid push. All right, there's the immortals. There's the big guns. Yeah, and we're just transitioning, adding the immortals into Archon Immortal Zealot. Yeah, this is. There's a reason that this is just the go-to comp. It's because it, it is really just a good, simple comp that you can just take and throw at things. Oh, all right. That was a nice few workers for free. All 
All right, Ravager gets caught up, but oh, some great stutter stepping here. Ling's coming in. All right, and there's no battery here anymore, which means the the Archons are literally useless. The Immortals are getting clicked out. Oh no! Oh, Immortal! Literally immortal, guys. He's just like, nah, I'm going to take a few steps back and get eight kills. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zealots on the other side of the map are just ripping apart the Zerg. Oh, no, guys. Did they go too hard in games one and two? I definitely, it definitely looks like they have pushed each other a bit to the limit. You'll love to see it. All right. There's a battery here, finally. Alright, we still got Zelts at the third. These roaches trying to get an immortal at least, but there's so many going down for it. GG is called! Oh, man, I'm just... What a game! That was... That was... <laughs> that was just a beautiful game of PvZ. That was just... I could only imagine how the longer ones went. All right. All right. Uh, all right. So now we got to go fetch Gunner. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get set up for the next series now, I think. Which should be Guitar King versus Gunner. All right. One minute here. You got to do a bit of server hopping. Uh. All right. There, Bar. I hop servers and they hop servers and just whoop. <laughs> All right. All right. We've got some players here all right uh, thank you all right we've got players we just got to wait for a game All right, there we go. And now all we do is wait, chat. You know what we do when we're waiting around here? We get the copium out. This one goes out to my lurker. I know exactly who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> Proof that Protoss players can have lurkers. <coughs> In StarCraft 2, at least. In Brood War, of course, you were always able to. You just, <laughs> mind control. Wooloo. And then, ta-da, you have lurkers. <coughs> <coughs> the mind control is just such a fun ability that I'm sad they got rid of. Like, it's obviously incredibly broken, but it's just fun. Dude, all I'm saying, Havior, is if we had Chat Starland in Oklahoma, it would actually be smoke craft because it would be a bar. And you can smoke in bars in Oklahoma. And you can smoke weed where you can smoke cigs. So, whenever I finally own a venue, you best believe that it's going to be smoke craft. <laughs> There's going to be an event for it. 
It's true. My control is the perfect balance of super strong and super tedious to use. <laughs> and I think that's why a lot of Brood War things are great. Uh, it's just one of those things I think is a huge selling point of Brood War is that there's so many things that just like, like um, optical flare. Who's going to use optical flare? Nobody. Because it's tedious and it's annoying and it's expensive. But you know what? It's fun and when you use it right, it's perfect. So I stand by that it's just... Mm. Uh, let's see what else is like that. Um, I mean, I guess like, oh, Maelstrom, dude, that was, that was some, I'm so glad last ASL happened because of the changes of PVZ. Like, it's just been so much more fun to watch, right? And you're just like, you're always seeing Dark Archons now. And you're just like, oh, what's he going to get it? What's he going to get it? Zoom. Ah, he got it. Um, and Snare. And Snare is another great one that's just not worth using unless you have, like, a very specific strat. ASL 9. <laughs> yeah, I love Ensnare, though. I use Ensnare when I can. I really try. Usually I'm losing at the point that I'm ensnaring things, but uh, <laughs> did I ensnare in my round of 16? I might have. Dude, so the thing is, is that when you ensnare, it, it, it essentially negates stim. Right? If you stim, you get normal marines. So, it is super... And the reason I love Ensnare and the Queen... Is Light versus Soma. ASL 9. Well, he was playing under Chosum Zerg at the time. But yeah, ASL 9. Round of 4. Game 2. Game 3. And Light's pushing down Sylphid. It, um, Light's 12. Um, Soma is 4. And he pushes down, and as he's on the fake high ground, the queen's coming in snare, and Ultra Ling just jumps on the army. And Light has no options. He just dies. And I was like, that. That's what I want to do every game. I want to do crazy shit like that. <laughs> of course Snow did. Yeah, that's... Snowballing Artosis is a whole subcategory of StarCraft that I'm here for. <laughs> like, anytime a um, Snow vs. Artosis game hits my feed, even if it's one I've seen before, we're fucking watching it again. <laughs> True. I would love to see Snow mind control, like... I... Like, if we get like a snow v barracks or something, right? Or um, I don't. I, I guess barracks isn't even the lowest level I really want to aim for. But like, you know what I mean? Those like round of twenty four Terrans. I haven't watched any ASL. No ASL spoilers. I'm a loyal Tostis viewer because I enjoy the commentary. I could follow the games on my own. I just love the commentary. <laughs> so no spoilers. But you know, you get. Um, Snow versus one of those round of 24 Terrans. I would love to see him do some stupid shit. Like, <laughs> he just built 20 scouts. <laughs> like, what? Is this ASL or is this Artosis' stream? And then after he wins, he just... <laughs> and you're like, oh, God, he did the thing. Oh, yeah, Snow Viardi is so much fun. 
it is like I said, it's a it's its own subgenre at this point of StarCraft that just needs to continue existing. All right, guys, it looks like um, Guitar King needed a minute. You know, after an hour and change series, you know, you got you to gotta go shake out the hands a little bit, I guess. I get it. <laughs> so we have Mass Scouts. We have Mass um, Reavers is a good one. Um, the Mind Control one. There's, a, there's at least two more. I think there's like four or five of their games on YouTube now. Yes, the triple robo reaver. Yes. And he's just still microing them. Nartos is like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> you know, you just blue screen as this guy's microing trip like fucking five, six <laughs> shuttles. Yeah, and you're just like <gasps> This is why I'm glad I picked Zerg. <laughs> Alright guys. Both players are in. All right. I'm going to do the smart thing and start recording. So that way this can get uploaded to the Platinum Heroes team channel on YouTubes. Because I think like a content creator these days, which has its ups and downs. The amount of times that I will be... In my, like, not streaming life, like, maybe even just doing YouTube, but sometimes talking with friends or something, I'll go, what do you think, chat? And I just have to stop and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a curse. All right, guys. Here we go. Spawning in the top left-hand side of Neo Humanity with the orange probes. Give it up for Heroes Gunner. Such a great guy, actually. Like, Gunner is just hes a fun guy to talk to, all right? I like Gunner. And another person who's just another great time. Another great guy to the scene. Give it up for Guitar King playing for Size Storm. Uh, Stranic, you're going to be a bit. This is the round before the semis still that we're just starting now. So if you guys want to play, you can, and I'll just do the top side semis. But either way, if you want to break now or if you want to break later, whatever works for you guys. So, yeah, we're, cause th we have this series and then we can start the upper semis. So, oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I... <laughs> I got plenty of StarCraft on the top side. I haven't casted both semis in a while. I also don't know what I can do because if I, if I wasn't waiting for the freaking car at the shop for them to call me, I would, you know, say if I wanted to cast both semis or not. But, you know, car mechanics, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Chet? Should I ask you to come? Bro, it, if that actually happened, Tavier, I'm banning you. Perma ban. Out of the channel. All right. Both players two gating. Pretty common on a map without a ramp in the natural. All right. Stalkers. Warp gate. Both players, you know, playing the standard. This is a very standard PvP at this point. Also, Shranik, I do appreciate you waiting. Like That is very polite. I like that. Thank you. All right. Dro probes are going to see Stalkers pop on each side. Oh, Gunner's going to save the boy. Gunner's like, no, probe, get home. Double stalker into double sentry. Okay. Versus quad stalker. So obviously this is going to give Gunner a lot more scouting capabilities and defensive capabilities. But Guitar King can definitely try and push the issue with four stalkers, you know? 
probably going to need a battery here for Gunner. If you, if there's any sort of pressure, we're going to need a battery. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could hold it with micro, but yeah. The battery is just the way to not die to something stupid. All right. Currently stupid is sitting at the top of his ramp. No. <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, he's checking. He's making sure. All right. You clearly aren't going to be aggressive. He's going to see the scouting Phoenix. And he's going to know that he went. All right. You went sentry, which is why you're being defensive. All right. We're going to go three gate with a warp prism. Oh, oh, my God. It survives. What? How did that? All right. So he sees everything. Ding, 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 ding. You see everything. Drops a robo immediately and a prison, uh, battery in the main. Second battery in the natural. More force fields. This is a man who's been here one too many times. Gunner's like, I know exactly what to do. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, it is PvP. This does happen a lot. That's a lot of stalkers, though. No blinks, so force fields are punishing. If the prism dives too deep for the pickup, obviously it's going to get sniped, so you have to be very careful here as Guitar King. All right, he chooses to right-click down a sentry. He's going to pay a couple of stalkers for it. We have the Nexus here. We're pulling some of the probes into the fight. Okay. Oh, some missed target. Just some single shots going on probes allowing him to survive a little bit longer. All right. We've refilled our probe, boys. Supplies are dead even. Oop. All right, we are trying. Bad pylon is down. We are going to have to lose the natural here, it looks like. Big Daddy Immortal's here, though. An immortal on a ramp with a battery. Good luck. Get out of here. Oh. All right. Still not quite enough to engage this army, though. We are going to try and repower this. Immortal target firing is good. This guy's getting kill after kill here. Oh, reinforcements warped in. Oh, he gets the immortal. Oh, this is not looking good for Gunner. Suddenly, this is a big no-no. This is not good. I repeat, this is not good. Uh. All right. Some prison micro. Gunner here with second immortal should be able to take this out now. Uh, Guitar King really wants to commit to this. He really wants that immortal. Nope. Not going to get it. Ah, take out the Nexus. Yeah. Dude, he can't push you out yet. He doesn't quite have enough to push you out. Well. <laughs> almost gets the Nexus. All right, second immortal pop, or third at this point, immortal pops at the perfect time to deny that. All right, recall goes down. Nexus is building here. Almost equal in workers, but Gunner's going to be able to outproduce those workers very quickly with two Nexi going. He's got the more technical army at this point. We're going to start immortals here for Guitar King, but... He's at a pretty bad deficit right now. Warping in a zealot here to eat some shots and try and connect with the immortal. Honestly, I would love to see him maybe play with a couple of adepts here. Or just adepts in general. Adepts have been... Well, as of recently, they've been very... Got it. <laughs> Guitar King, what was that? <laughs> What did the boy do to deserve that? <laughs> B 
but adepts have been very popular in pvp because they're good at you know activating barriers they're good at just dealing with sentries and they eat immortal shots Yeah, to cancel. <laughs> it's just oh, you hit the cancel button. Here's all your recharge. Here's all your charges again. Hey, you know what, Havier? Do you want to know why this could be worse? There is. If you've ever played the campaign on easy, or maybe even normal, I don't know if it's on normal. I know it's on easy. All right, here's the resonating glaives. Gunner, Gunner knows what's up. Adding in these adepts, they are so good. It's ridiculous. No, but in the campaign, you can build up to three charges of warps on the lower difficulties. So if you don't macro, you end up building up these extra charges. So you could just, you have three gates. Oh, you just nine zealots real quick. It's now that's broken. Cause imagine you just okay, I'm gonna bank up some money, not macro on my twelve gates. You bring the prism in, there's thirty six units just just painting with zealots. Honestly, I didn't know it existed for the longest time because I just never played on that difficulty. I've always played on like hard <laughs> at least I'm not a brutal guy I'm not good enough for brutal <laughs> it's basically Laro you you shut your damn mouth we respect Zergs in this household all right force fields on both sides a bit of prism micro here from gunner gonna let him disengage In this house, we stand for the pledge and sit for the larva. All right, one pylon, but it's really far back, actually. Oh, beautiful pickup on that guy. Um, uh, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> All right, and the problem is, how are we dealing with these adepts? The adepts are a huge issue here because they can also threaten running in at any point. They can just shade past your army and go into your main and force you to take two fights. Like, how are we planning on dealing with that? I guess blink stalkers, but like... I don't know. I don't... Not in these numbers, you know? Alright, on the back of this, Gunner getting a third base. Meanwhile, Guitar King already has a third base. And Guitar King's actually up in workers at this point. Oh, here we go. He wants to commit. Commit to the bit. Oh, oh. All right, hallucination gone. And with that, this space will continue to remain unscouted. That's kind of his main hope for scouting it. Has Guitar King shown Blink yet? Yeah, he has Blink. Alright, I... <laughs> Keep looking over at chat and stuff, and I must have missed him blink. Because we're still using force fields a lot. And it's like, all right, well, force fields are kind of useless once they can blink. <laughs> once physics doesn't matter, blink, like, force fields are not. Oh! Yeah, this is what I mean with the adepts. Like, this is where they shine, right? You split off some stuff, try and force a fight. Green battery is good. Green battery is very good. All right, but now we're going to go for a run or reach around. 
unfortunately, Blink Stalkers are just mobile units. All right, Force Field's actually doing more to hurt Gunner's push than they are to help to hurt um, Guitar King. All right. Oh, yep. <laughs> F2A move. The Prism ends up on the other side of the fight. Uh, this heavy immortal count, though, is huge. Like, these immortals are just chewing through the stalker ball. Yeah, like, these guys have seen some shit. All right, green battery is good, though. Coco second overcharge. Hits when it needs. Oh, he almost clicked down the prism. Clicking down the prism would have been a huge help. Honestly, yeah. Charge. We need some zealots. Oh, no. He just sacrificed like five stalkers for that. Oh, there might just be too much here, though. There might just be too much. Guitar King does have plus one. He just really has no way of answering this mass immortal. GG is called. And Gunner, in the end, will take it home. GG's. Okay. All right. That's the... <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of game we're going to get. I'm interested, guys. I'm very interested in how this series is going to play. All right. Now we just wait for game number two. All right. Nope. Alright, it looks like they're still just not making the game. Ah, I shake my fist at them. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, one of them's in a game. Eh, there's an invite. Alright, guys. Game number two. There we are. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And they didn't start it. I was like, ah. Ah, my, my intros and outros are just not hitting right now, guys. I apologize. Normally, normally my timing's fantastic. And I go, nah. And they start the game. It works. Not today. All right. Here we go. Oh, there we are. Spawning here in the bottom left-hand side with the orange probes playing for the Platinum Heroes. Give it up for Gunner. And his opponent in the top right-hand side with the blue probes playing for Size Storm Gaming. Give it up for Guitar King. All right. All right, PvP, let's all go take a nap. We got like 10 minutes before anything interesting happens. <laughs> oh, no. It's... I actually love me some PvP. Let's see if Guitar King learned from his mistakes last game and, you know, continues the robo bu builds. Uh, robo units are kind of good. Or getting charge earlier. <coughs> if he had had charge, I think he has a much better chance of holding at the end there. Because he could start 
it, once you start mixing in zealots, it's very hard to make a lot of immortals, right? Because immortals are clunky, and zealots are just going to run on them. Yes, let's make the only unit more clunky than a, an immortal, the Dragoon. Dude, the Dragoon, man. The problem is, the Dragoon is tanky, and it does a lot of damage. Like, it's just an all-around workhorse. And that just wouldn't work in StarCraft 2, you know? <laughs> like, you have the Immortal. And, it, I, I mean, it does pack a bunch, but it's just... I think Dragoons do too well against a lot of things compared to the Immortal, right? Because, obviously, Immortals are armored and, um... Um... Uh... Yeah, they're they they are just better dragoons, yeah. Like they're like people who honor who are like more honored than people who become dragoons, I guess. I don't know. I'll admit. Uh Legacy of the Void didn't really grip me lore wise. <laughs> Hell, even Heart of the Swarm was interesting to me. All right. Ooh, perfect timing. Gunner scouting the proxy Stargate. The Guitar King still has no idea. Well, guys, this game's been fun. It's over. <laughs> Gunner takes the series 2-0. Oh, no. And the battery finishes up just in time. Dude, just. Just GG now. <laughs> I want a GG on behalf of Guitar King. I, I feel absolutely bullied by this. Alright, we're waiting for Moracles. I just all right we do have a battery at the top of the ramp but I expect to adapt <coughs> and you'll never guess what's right there to adapt one two okay. and at this point he's like no wait just what Yep, immediately like, wait a minute. Wait just a darn tootin' minute. Okay, this is, um... Yeah, this is, um... Oh, we could have had eight. We could have had it all. Oh. Rolling in the deep. Yeah. Uh, you can just feel the desperation in this Oracle play. All right, volunteer. Here, here, right here. Echo skeletons. Okay. Interesting. Then why are immortals locked on the planet that's been locked away for like thousands of years? Make it make sense. Nah, go for the stasis. Oh, Guitar King. But the, yeah, the thing is, you don't get immortals until you unlock the shield world or whatever it's called. I just call it the shield world because I'm a Halo nerd. But yeah, you have to unlock that. Yeah, yeah, the purifiers. That's what they're called. Thank you. And you just you don't get it until then. And those people have been locked away for a thousand something years, like thousands of years or whatever, like, or whatever um, they say in the game. But yeah, the idea is that like. 
this is like an ancient mysterious power. It's like, oh no, there's actually, we've just been building these. Oh, that, do you? All right, never mind. I, you're right. You do get them on core hall. Giant Grant games. Honestly, I should have known that because I watch enough Grant. <laughs> No, you're right. All right, I, I'll I'll give it a pass on this one. It's just so unexpected that they got something out of lore straight. It's just my brain can't comprehend it. GG. Gunner, gonna take the two zero. Nice. There we are. GG's. All right. That means it's Gunner versus LS Drain. Okay. Interesting. Um, LS said he'd be on EU. Alright. Uh, but CSL doesn't also work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Gunner and invite to a party. And where is... Go over to Discord. Yeah. Uh. All right. Looks like we might need a minute here. Just double checking things. Yep. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break. It looks like um, Alice Drain's just gotta go wait for him. Don't go anywhere. We still got the semis, the third place, and the finals. Don't go anywhere.
Yo, LS Drain, are you still listening? Hello? Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Alright. Stranic is very interested in me casting his game, so I might end up switching sides of the bracket. We'll see. I don't know what happened to LS Stray though, unfortunately. Hmm. All right. Um. Hmm. Oh, there he is. All right, guys. There he is. Nah, perfect. Hey, guitar, how you doing? Oh, your games were incredible, all right? You're, that game three, what happened games one and two of that first series? What, what happened? Was it like a 40 minute game? And then like a 15, 20 minute game? I, I need to know. <laughs> Chat needs to know. I'm a little drunk and I need to know. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <You> just, uh, <laughs> whatever. Those game, because that game three looked fun. Classic. So that's some Zerg shit right there. <laughs> oh, wait. This is another Heroes game. Start recording. <laughs> uh, I totally stopped recording when we didn't know what I was doing and then just... Oh, yeah. Um... All right, so one is Neo. <laughs> I definitely just looked for Neo Sylphid. Uh, it, it's not in the map pool, funny enough. <laughs> That's true. Game three always goes crazy. <laughs> Race check. All right, here we go, guys. More Platinum Heroes goodness. Uh, let me post it in the Discord real quick. Uh, LS Dre versus a Gunner right now. Semi final. There we are. All right. Huge comeback. Dude, yeah, no, that was, game three looks solid, but yeah, no, Gunner is, um, he's a, he's a, he's a little above your MMR. <laughs> oh God, we got hit with the U2 guys. Uh, who's ready to see some cheese? I've never seen someone say U2 and then not cheese, but okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Spawning here in the bottom, right hand side, with the Platinum Heroes emote, or icon, I guess, and the green SCVs. Give it up for L.S. Drain. And his opponent in the top left hand side, with the orange probes, also repping that eagle icon. Give it up for Gunner. 
There is not a single tournament that Platinum Hero plays in that we don't have a team kill. It's just every freaking tournament. <laughs> Literally. It's just from a home story cup down to chat star league. There's always a team kill in there. Anything, man. Vulcan Cup is like half t uh, Platinum Heroes, so there's so many team kills there. All right. We are doing the Reaper Wall here. It's a simple one since it's just the uh, Gateway or a Cyber Core. Take your pick. Nexus going down. All right. Probe slowing down the CC just a little bit. And I'm surprised. Elastrain not cheesing. I feel actually kind of... Or he's not cheesing. Sorry. I, I feel like I said cheating. But I feel cheated is what I meant to say. You can't just hit... You, you can't hit him with the U2 and then not cheese. Like, as a cheeser, I feel disrespected. <laughs> Guys, it's not fair that Terran has the best music. Stalker coming on up here. We're going to go Twilight. Normal so far. We have an Adept, but it's on our side of the map. Ready for the Reaper. Reaper just kind of poking around. Seeing what we'll see. It's going to see a gateway. It's going to see the Adept Shade. We got a bunker. We got a. We got doors. Doors are really good. Believe it or not. All right. Time for the adept to try and get some information. All right. Reaper. <laughs> Reaper white Yolo and Swag Don in there. Sees what's going on here. Sees Twilight. All right. See Warp Gate. Blinking, all right. Oop. Don't almost sneeze while you're holding down the button. Oh, this adept is done. Bye, adept. That's not supposed to finish. All right, Robo coming down. Give me some nice normal blink stuff here. Get Marines. Just one, one, one. We're gonna go tank liberator. All right, so this is gonna be a nice power push. Won't have medevac for a bit though. Well, I say that we do have a medevac. Guys, guys, we won't have medevac for a while. Don't worry. <laughs> you went medevac into liberator. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Although this medevac, you know, has a fair chance of dying here. Because it flew through the watchtower. Oh, fortunately, Protoss was all along the watchtower. Yeah. And now we won't have medevacs for a long time. Vindicated. Third CC coming on up. Right, that's going to get shift. Hey, are you ready? Shift queued. One. Uh, two. Really? Really? Okay. It's the least shift queued um, I've ever seen one. Alright. Tanks gonna push out here with the Marines. There's cannon fodder. With no way of healing or anything. They're not exactly gonna have a great time. Alright. Double NG base coming on up here. Terran immediately just rolls back on his heels. You know, gets these up in a defensive spot, tanks up, bunkers filled. Tank in the main for a blink up. Which is perfect because the blink up is coming. We just need to hit the siege button. 
We need to hit the siege button. He didn't hit the siege button. Chat. Do we not have stim? Oh, he built a raven. This has the added benefit of being useless right now. Yeah, unfortunately, a uh, raven's just not what you need here. And yeah, CC dies, raven dies, everything's dead. It's looking. Gunner's making this look easy, guys. Why is Gunner so good? Yeah. Hello, strangers. Taps out. GG's. Yeah, it's just nothing went right there for LS, unfortunately. All right. Grass fine. Unfortunate for our boy. All right. That's fine. There are more games. It's a best of five, so we got a, we got a couple of games left, guys. All right, here we go. Round two. Let's get into it. All right. Spawning here in the top left hand side. With the green SCVs down a map, but he's got a plan. <laughs> Give it up for LS Drain. Proxying on behalf of the Platinum Heroes. The proxy heroes, guys. And his victim, I mean opponent, in the bottom right hand side with the orange probes. Give it up for Gunner. All right, chat. Is it Marauders or is it Reapers? Both are very popular in the Discord. Terran spend all their time talking about their different proxies. Ah, we're thinking Reapers. All right. All right, Probe is just going to miss this. Thankfully, Gunner is a good scouter. So, you know, you'll get the Probe over there just in time to go, huh, Saw ain't right here. Now, the question is, does he just assume the barracks is down here? Is he going to check down here? It's very popular for Terrence these days to be just putting their buildings down in here and throwing off a Protoss who scouts like this. It's a tech lab. Let's go. It's not a great build, but it's one of my favorites. Proxy Marauders. Um, actually, one of the best cheese. Uh, okay, the jig is up. Hey, hey, leave that alone. Get out of here. Scram. Uh, the, um, the Marauder Hellbat push, I think, in TVZ is my favorite Terran build. But Proxy Marauder, I mean, it, it got um, beyond to go, oh, Shival, on IEM stage <laughs> at Katowice this past year. So, yeah, it's kind of good. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hero Marine did go on to lose that game anyways, which made me a very sad boy as a Hero Marine believer. All right, we have built infinite batteries. So yeah, this, is, this push is over. Unfortunately, yeah, it's kind of over before it started. Good scouting from uh, Gunner. Cracking three batteries is going to be 
basically impossible. I would love to see him tech up and maybe get like a medevac or something and start dropping him in. Or just lift up, put the barracks over here. Try and do something a little crazy. I gotta say, guys, I, 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 I like to um I like to have fun with my StarCraft. Yeah, three batteries next to a Nexus so we can overcharge. Oh my god, wait. Uh probes are good though. Oh, we're about to lose three Marauders to probes. Oh, stutter step. Terran Micro, God. Guys, should concuss should the concussive effect be um, splash? So like you, um, it's like the campaign where you, um, when you hit something with concussive, it has like an AOE splash. What do we guys think? I think that we should bring that back. Oh yeah, we've got a series on our hands. I think. Slow down. Slow down, you old not dragoon. All right, we lost a lot of marauders to do that, but also GG. <laughs> three batteries is good, and I thought he had it with three batteries, but no. Man with explosive rock, Samus. <laughs> Human Samus comes in to save the day. All right. <laughs> yeah. Starcraft do be like that. All right. Map number three. <laughs> yeah, you know, Marauder's good unit, I guess. <laughs> uh, they're just um, laughing at who would be proud of that cheese. Oh man, Chris would be proud. Chris does love a good proxy marauder. All right, here you go, guys. Map number three, best of five. So we still have at least two more maps. No matter how it goes, we got two more maps. Let's get into it. All right. Spawning here in the bottom right-hand side of Dragon Scales with the green SCVs representing the heroes. Give it up for L. S. Drain. And the top left-hand side, a man who needs no introduction. This man, he's good. He shows up, and this might be his week, guys. This might be the week of Gunner. Can he do it? It's Gunner. <laughs> All right. He is going for another Reaper wall. He does love his Reaper walls. All right, no cheeses from Drain this time. All right, guys, spawning here in the top left-hand side. This man needs no introduction. He's representing the Platinum Heroes. He is a staple in this tournament, and it might actually just be his day. Give it up for Gunner. <laughs> in the bottom right-hand side, the Terran. You know, he's bringing it back, guys. Can he do it? Give it up for LS Drain. What are you talking about? The game just started. Don't worry about it. There was no wrong scene. There was no nothing. It just... We flipped scenes and we did our introductions. Yeah. Nothing was wrong. Taren with an eBay block. That's cheeky. I don't think anybody noticed. <laughs> 
Oh, man. And I say I'm good at production. Why do you people believe my lies? <laughs> All right. So you see on the high ground, second rack's coming on up here. All right, Stargate. Everyone loves Stargate, All right? You know what everyone doesn't love? The three racks. <laughs> I can hear Protoss players crying out in the distance. How inhumane of a build. How evil. How just downright cruel that someone would consider three racksing. But here we go. It's happening. Can you see that? Okay. Wait, what? How did he not see them? Because remember, unlike Brood War, like, if you switch to someone's vision, it actually just shows what they've seen. And he just didn't see those barracks somehow. Starcraft? Are you awake? Mom, come pick me up. The game makes no sense. Oh, it's a phoenix! Oh. Guys, guys, are, is this Roddy playing? Did Gunner and Roddy, like... Did Gunner hit up like, hey, Roddy, log into my account real quick and play? Because this is exactly a Roddy game. Misses the scout against the three racks, goes into Phoenix. Oh, it just like Roddy flies right into the Marines. <laughs> yeah. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Phoenix flies over. Bzz, 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 bzz. It just sounds a little different. Yo, Nambo, how you doing, my man? All right, one trick you want to do when you're doing something like this, rally your Stargate to your other Phoenixes. Nice. That's my boy. All right, we got a lot of Marine. A lot of man with gun. Now we're getting man with explosive gun. Dude. I could go for a decently large meal right about now. Alright. We're lifting some of the boys. Run. When did they nerf vodka? <laughs> Rip. All right, man with gun going across the map. Uh, it's going to be a tight hold. Maybe doable. Oh, I don't like this spot. We're taking a lot of real damage. Yep. Oh, the three racks, guys. Is Roddy right? Is it just too powerful? Is this just something no human should ever do? For just... For the sake of a dignified culture. You? Never. Never. <laughs> StarCraft 2 has its redeeming qualities. It's no, it's no Brood War, but it, it's still a good game in its own right. And I love it. Yeah, he killed no probes. He just traded out army for army. Although, to be said, he's only three workers behind. So once you count in mules, like, he's right up on point. That's just something that's supposed to uh, kill workers. Yeah, that is a fair statement. That's actually impressive he got no pro kills. The more you think about it, because this is his natural. He didn't take his... He's just now getting this base. No. StarCraft 2 has a lot of quality. Smart casting. We uh, Smart casting is objectively just... 
a better way like it's just better for the player right whether or not you think it you know involves skill or not that's a different story but smart casting is a objectively makes it a better game to play it's like complaining that like there's an automatic transmission but yeah no the automatic transmission is very good <laughs> you might prefer a manual and you might look down on people who drive automatics but at the same time, automatics just make it easier to drive a vehicle. Like, that's just how it is. You know what? We brought some boys. All right. All right. Phoenixes are going out. All right. We're getting tanks in spot. Yeah. Look, I'm not that fat. I don't take the electric cart around Walmart yet. I'm not that bad. Almost there. No, what did Husky do? I know he's been doing a lot of StarCraft on stream. What's he been doing? Did he, did he come out with another RTS? We've had like eight people make RTSs this year. No one makes an RTS for a decent RTS for 13 years, and suddenly everyone's like, "I want to make a good one." Whoa, who? Husky Tolo? You're a Husky fan? Oh, Brood War. Okay, I'm down for that. <laughs> My poor 2070 would probably die then. All right, Terran is in position. Oh, of course, now the auto shop chooses to call. I'll have to call them back here in a minute after this game. I've been waiting for their call for so long. They call in the middle of the climactic fight. Uh, <laughs> life. <laughs> Oh, Tolo. Tolo's ruining my joke by being wholesome. That guy's an idiot. Tolo, I wouldn't trust him. All right. Protoss engaging from behind with the lift ups. Marine's going to go ahead and force the tanks to get down, but the Zealots have had time to get in position. But the main army's getting obliterated for Protoss. Oh, my God. The flank was good, but... Oh, man. GG. Terran. Doing Terran things. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm going to throw it to a quick BRB while I call the shot back. All right, guys. Don't go anywhere. The series will continue. I just got to go call them back real quick.
All right, guys, it's a good day. It's a good day. A um, $2,000 bill just became a $500 bill because it was a different issue than they thought. Uh, <laughs> we're having a good day, so I can pick up my car tomorrow. And I don't have to worry about it today, which means I can fucking sleep. <laughs> because I got four hours of sleep last night. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I told him that my mechanic called during the fight, and they're like, caster moment. I'm like, yeah. It do be like that. All right. Uh, there we are. <laughs> uh, well, so basically my AC has been going, right? Well, it's not that it was going. It was more that it was um, when you turn the AC up, you get this really grindy noise. And so... When I had it in the shop back in March, because I had to get some other stuff done, and uh, I, they're like, "Oh, by the way, your compressor might be going. That might be the issue." And I went, "Okay, I'll, I, I okay, you know, this, this is fine. That's fine. I can take a look into that later, you know." And it finally started becoming a problem recently. And I was like, "All right, I'll get it in." I'm like, "Hey, yep, this is what you guys said last time." He, the guy's like. And he's like, he takes it in, and he gives me a call back like an hour later. He's like, yeah, you know, it might be the compressor, but also I see there's a huge issue with, like, your timing belt. And so it could just be that. And I went, really? Could it just be the timing belt? Because the uh, tensioner was gone or shot, shot to all hell. And he's like, yeah, it could just be the tensioner and um, serpentine belt that are just your issue. He's like, all right, and if it's that, it's, like, a third the price. Or like a quarter of the price. And I'm like, all right, let's do that then. And then he just called me back. He's like, yep, that was the issue. You're all set. Apparently there's like a bearing I got to get replaced too. But that's like not critical. So I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I'm a good car owner. <laughs> all right, guys. <sighs> Bringing it back. Doubters might be in shambles, guys. Is in the bottom left hand side with the green SCVs. 2 1 currently. Match point. It is LS Drain. And his opponent in the top right hand side with the orange probes who messaged me between games and said that every time he plays like Roddy, he gets three racks. And I'm like, hey, I said that to the stream. Give it up for Gunner. Yo, Love Snow. How you doing, my man? Yeah, I needed it fixed this weekend so I could drive to Chicago and not hate myself. That was it was very calculated. <laughs> this was a calculated choice. Because I figure if I'm going to run the most expensive thing in my life, aka a LAN, I might as well just add to it by putting car costs on top. God, I'm just happy to have there's also my belt was starting to squeak, so now it's not going to do that anymore. Ah, she's going to be so nice having my car fixed. All right. Much more standard opening here from both players. Although this time he's not going for the Reaper Wolf. What are you doing? That's three gates. All right. Four gate blink stalker all in. Let's go. Gunner says, yeah, I want that money. <laughs> Gunner wants the prestige of winning chat star league. It's like, this is my month. Damn it. Has Gunner ever won a CSL before? I don't know. I don't think he has. I think there's always been someone to stop him. All right, we see the reactor and a marine, and no reapers. So, all right, meme drop. Yo, gamers, we are still going. You guys might not have to deal with my shitty observing anymore. All right, we're on you right now. Mm. 
Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, this is, if there's any month for Gunner to really go for it, it's this month. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, uh, this is awkward. This is awkward for both parties. And he's like, wait, shit, these, these are cloaked. All right, you've got time. No, no bathroom breaks for my staff. You know, I've been joking recently that now that, like, I have, like, staff, per se, like, people that I am responsible for overseeing and helping out with, what the fuck, he built a Thor? Drain, uh, what? <laughs> I thought it was a tank. I just didn't even think about it. He, he built a fucking Thor? He was going to Thor push this? Excuse me? The nice thing is, is that Gunner is probably just as confused as I am. Alright, he added on a Robo just to get the um, Observer. I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. I'm just, I'm fucking baffled by the Thor. <laughs> All right, this is gonna fly right in vision of the pylon. All right, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I am. Ah, uh, yes, that's what it is. my managerial skills. Yeah, I'm a great manager. And now that I now that I am a manager, I understand the idea of like, no, fuck my staff. No bathroom breaks. No vacation. Get to work. I need you to do things. It, and suddenly, it's just it all makes sense now. <laughs> oh man. All right, here we go. All right, we're warping in a stalker there. Oh, are we gonna send it? Uh, yeah, this is this is ultimate platinum heroes moment. No one, no one expands. Scribs would be so proud of this game. Honestly, this, this feels like a Scrib series. Or at least a game. Alright, Gunner has stopped microwing. He's like, oh wait, this exists. Crap. Charge not quite done yet. It's still blinking. And without charge, these Delta are essentially useless. Force field the ramp. Force field the ramp a little bit. Granted, the Thor can break force fields, but, like, you can force them to bounce around a bit. Oh, there's a Liberator. Jeez, heroes. True. Um. Um. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Guys, guys, this is supposed to be Gunner's week. This was supposed to be his month, I mean. No. Rip Gunner. Ellis Drain is going to go on to the finals. Gunner gets dropped into third place. GG. Dude, there's a video somewhere of sentries, um, a handful of sentries beating a battle cruiser. It's one of my favorite gifts, and I have no clue where it is anymore. All right, guys. Oh.
Uh, probably not the worst of ideas. Uh, one second here. I need to find what's going on. Uh. Oh. Right, I'll just posted a link. Uh, one second here, guys. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Gunner. Ugh. Uh, one second here. Uh, all right. We one second here, guys. Score. Oh, I invited you to party, didn't I? Fuck me. I'm useless at this game. Uh. Sorry, I am literally useless at this game. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, he was trying to do a four gate blink all in. Yeah, it, um, it didn't work. I'm good. Um, and then I will. There we are. Just... There we are. <laughs> Dude, the Thor build. Like, I genuinely didn't see the Thor. Like I was like, huh? He's got a he's got a Thor? What? <laughs> like, and I saw it pop. I was like, oh yeah, he's just building tanks. And the Thor pops. I was like the fuck? <laughs> I've had that idea. I don't know if I can get anyone on board for it though. I don't think I can get enough people on board to do it. But I would love to do it. I've had that idea. My biggest hurdle is, like, will people actually do it? All right. Um, so, first of all, and now I'm going to just look in the top right. There we go. Okay, now I'm on. I have an observer, guys. Thank you, Gamer Hells. All right. We can go ahead and start here in the bottom right-hand side. I'm just going to lean back. This is good, guys. This is, this is casting. In the bottom right-hand side, we've got our boy... Oh, fuck me if I don't fuck it up. There we are. We've got our boy Stranic. And his opponent in the top left-hand side. Not representing any team, actually. It's Radow. Guys, there's a Zert. What is this racial diversity in the um, semis? Like, what? <laughs> Ooh, April Fool's edition. I actually, I, that's not a bad idea. Shit. I I might have to consider that. And then... <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Gunner, I feel so bad because this was definitely your month to win. I definitely had you going into the finals and really putting up a fight for winning because, like, what I figured was going to be, like, all right, LS will probably take third. And then it's, like, Stranic and Gunner in the finals battling it out, PvP, Epic, best of five. That's what I had. So, <laughs> all right, we are um, one gate into Nexus, so Nexus before core. Rip Gunner. Gunner's washed. Oh, I didn't stop my recording. Oh, well. Uh, can I? Yeah. There we are. So that way I don't destroy my hard drives. All right. Whoop. Pro versus drone. It's trying. <laughs> Dude. I want to play Skyrim again soon. 
I I've had I got the itch, you know. You know how it is. You sometimes you get you get the Skyrim itch, and you're like, hmm, hmm. Y'all you know, got any of that there um uh, dragon shouts? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been feeling it because Baldur Gate Baldur's Gate's been out, and I haven't played Baldur's Gate, and even though it's right up my alley, and I really should, but it's just one of those things where it's like, ah, I just got that itch going, you know, and I don't want to buy Baldur's Gate because I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> Alright. Probe just scouting third base. Stalker pushing back the Overlord. Congrats as well. Completing it with all achievements. Man, 100% of the game 11 years later. Dude, I have no space to talk. I love me some Skyrim. I will aimlessly build houses in Skyrim and just do dumb shit. I love Skyrim. Fuck. Skyrim stream one. All right. Adept just pokes on in. Doesn't get any purchase. Third hatch is up. Ah. We built a void ray. It's a void ray, Lester. Bigger type of Protoss. Ooh, Stranic in a thick supply block. Just now dropping pylons like whoopsies. Second Stargate because he can't produce any units. Oh, is he going to do the four Tempest build? Oh, where's Fionn? Oh, Fionn would love this again. <laughs> So his brain can melt a second time. All right, yeah, it's the Tempest build, guys. I, I have a feeling he goes for Tempest here. It worked before. Why wouldn't it work again? All right, Evo's coming on up here. Part of me. Link's just kind of poking on in, seeing what's going on. They see that he's still on two bases here. Which, when you open Stargate, you can have your Nexus down at like three something. Oh, you can have a super early Nexus with a Stargate. Okay, he's going to do the carriers. Does he cancel them, though? And he's chronoing them, so not likely. So he might be doing the carrier build that um we saw at Gamers 8 from Creator. Yeah, it was Creator's carrier... Like, uh, what was it, like four carriers into Blink or something? Harson's building Nexus at 320. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Greedy Protoss players. Alright, third base finally coming on up here at 530. Oh, it was SOS. Okay, it wasn't Chin Toss. Thank you. There's the plus one. Overlord just going for the sights. Um, yeah, it's just look at it. He's showing off the Ewoks. Look at him. Um, carriers are getting plus one right now. All right. Now, this is some old school micro here. You attack the rocks right up until you need to kill a thing. Ah, this is some old school micro. You love to see it. It's also the only way to micro a carrier these days, so. There's that. Carriers are. Carriers are poorly designed because they can't be microed in any way. In Brood War, you micro your carriers by continuously moving them so the interceptors stay out. And so that way when you go into battle, they're already all out and they just kind of go. In StarCraft 2, you get like, oh yeah, attacking the rocks or whatever. But, like, that's it. That's just kind of like a battle setup. It's not really a micro trick. It's just... Like, this isn't micro. This is just like getting ready. You could have just as easily walked in and started attacking the carrier. 
All right, transfuse is good. Transfuse is real good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, release interceptors was great. Just because you died to it a bunch doesn't mean it was bad. Yeah. Oh, carriers down. All right, we're losing corruptors though. All right, and the recall is dropped. Yeah. Moral of the story is that Brood War has more interesting mechanics than StarCraft 2. Score? Score's right there in the bottom. Right there in the bottom. <laughs> the whole lot of not much. This series just started. They waited. I thought they were going to... What the... All right, eight minute mothership, let's go. Yeah, normally no one waits and normally I don't ask people to wait, right? Because, well, to be honest, normally I don't have the time to cast both semis anymore. With gigging out, I don't, yeah, with like how much I gig these days, I don't have time on Saturday. I usually have to be out of the house by like four or five o'clock. So I don't have time to cast both semis anymore, especially with how big CSL has gotten outside of this month. So it's just, it's convenient like this is a Saturday where I don't have to do anything my car I can pick it up tomorrow uh, I don't have a gig tonight I'm just gonna sit home and smoke a bunch of weed watch some YouTube so I guess it works <laughs> this is basically the same thing except I get to have fun talking with about Starcraft with you guys at least also if you haven't seen it you guys should see my Stormgate video Banley Nest interesting choice Build all the techs. Banning run buys, I guess. But yeah, I um, I released a video on Stormgate talking about some footage that was uh, leaked. And yeah, it's a fun video. I really think I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. Act people have just actually enjoyed it. Yeah, um, exclamation mark YouTube will bring up my YouTube. And it, I literally launched it this morning. Oh, Julian, Julian the Champion. Nah, I mean, so the thing is, I have nothing on there that they can strike legally, right? They can try and argue that they didn't want the data out there, but I didn't sign any NDAs and I don't have any footage from the game in my video. So there's nothing that they can strike. They can try and have it taken down, but it's all fair use and it's all my commentary. I know... Also, Magnus told me that they were trying to be aggressive against people doing stuff like this. The um, the funny part is, though, is that I didn't know that until I had recorded, edited, rendered, and uploaded the video, and then made a joke about it. And he went, hey, they're attacking people for that. And I went, oh, too late now. Oh, yeah. The YouTube channel is also five days a week brood war casting. I'm, gonna, I'm considering stepping that up, but also I don't hate I, I'm debating how much I hate myself also we're getting the great pro dot this is um this is some fucking Gerald shit right or King Cobra yeah if this was brood war I'd say the replay was broken <laughs> <coughs> All right, centrifugal hooks coming on up here. So these banelings will be roly poly olied. All right. Meanwhile, we're getting crack. We're getting um, pathogen glands for our infestors. <laughs> All right. Second spire here. So we're going to transition into just. All right, guys, this is going to be an hour long fucking game. more of this well now that I don't need this anymore I can turn that off dude the meta never left <laughs> no 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 there's a big difference there was no proxy stargate that's why it's not 2021 there was no proxy stargate 
Other than that, yeah, we're on the point. We got Greater Spire coming up. We got Dark Shrine coming on up. Like, we got all that good stuff. Oh, man. Ultra Cavern. I hate the Ultra re Rework still. Oh, we're pushing. Minus 400, minus 400, chat. Storm's going down, saving the High Templar. And they're all going to morph into Archons, and Zerg cannot take the fight. Fire Cake versus Mana. That's a cursed game. That's a cursed game. <laughs> Who doesn't love a mine? Oh, what do we got up here? Zealots coming in. Oh, and Zealots are ripping through the Queens. And that gives the Void Ray Carrier a clear opening to come on in here because there's no anti here. They're just cleaning up the roaches. Dude, this is a this is peak Stranic. All right, Corruptors dive in, but they are not in high enough numbers, nor with good enough upgrades. <coughs> and like that, Prodots is going to take game number one. The Roaches were the, you know, anti, you know, ground army. <laughs> that was, that was straight out of 2021, yeah. Uh, that game, um... Yeah, that was a game. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is... Uh, I'm going to actually be smart. I'm going to invite you to a party, gamer. I'm going to actually invite you to the party. So that way when I join the game, I can just bring you with me. Yeah, Roach is good unit. Yo, Universe. He was taking towards Ultras. He just didn't have them. All right. I wish you could change the order of chat channels in StarCraft. Because I hate that it, like, it keeps moving CSL around. And so it's like, oh, it's on top. Now it's on the bottom. Now it's in the middle. Now it's over here. Now it's over here. Now it's over on this screen. You're like, what the fuck? And you just can't move them. <laughs> Next CSL. Uh-huh. Sure, I, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, yeah, you're a fucking resident sleeper. <laughs> well, guys, I'm actually, I feel, kind of feel cheated that that game didn't go to an hour. Look, was I ready to lose all 10 of my viewers? To watch an hour long PVZ. Yeah, actually, I was. All right. There we are. And then we put our Protoss boy up a point. <laughs> All right, spawning here in the top left hand side, representing Platoon. Give it up for your favorite Protoss from the East. Give it up for Stranic. And his opponent in the bottom right-hand side, representing nobody but himself. Give it up for the purple, purple Zerg player, Radow. 4K, that'll get you somewhere. <laughs> Maybe through round one. Oh. All right, twice in one stream is actually kind of bad. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm, I'm falling apart. <laughs> uh, uh, this, this is a scuffed stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, scouting probe coming on in. Cheering for Rado. You want to play a Zerg? Oh, that leaves us with a PvP and a ZBZ. Practice TVZ for two weeks. All right, once again, it's Nexus before Core. I 
I can't wait to watch you go to split and then just it's like 80% of your Marines and 20% and they all just die. Now that'll be content. <laughs> He's a Protoss operator. Protoss operator. Nah. No curse in here. Just polite family friendly language, right? This is a family friendly stream. <laughs> Alright, Adept is out into Stalker. Alright, Stargate's coming on up here as well. <laughs> so you want Cyril to play as somebody else for the chance at an extra 10 bucks for you. Oh my god, the drone got blocked from making the spore. Oh, by his own brother. You are my brother, drone. All right, three drones down. If I go crazy, then will you still call me Zergling? Come on. <laughs> what, my Copium jar? Hey, if you don't think Copium is family friendly, you're going to have to tell the Terran streamers to stop because they've got a lot of it on their streams. Ha, <laughs> Yes, when Scan steps in, it sounds like, wait, what? You're playing way too well. Ah, it must be Scan. <laughs> All right, Chad Ray is out. Second Stargate and Fleet Beacon coming up here. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Artie has changed his place. I watched the game, and I will say that Artosis' is strongest matchup has always been TVT. So him making 2,400 on the back of that makes sense. But it's good to see that his play is all around improving. I remember like a year or so ago when he was just a guy that would sit on two bases and complain he couldn't get eco. It's not a bad game, actually. Like it's a, it's a good TVT. I I think the scan coaching actually worked. All right, it's carrier time. Come on, no, give me the tempest. I, I want the tempest. Yeah. <laughs> This is proof that, you know, if you do something, you can just get good at it, you know? There's hope for all of us CPLers out there. If Artie can reach 2400, the rest of us can, I don't know, hit fucking D rank. <laughs> my, my goal is just to fucking hold on to E rank. I'm barely doing that. Yep, carriers are coming, plus ones are coming. Someone call Stranic and let him know the new. Okay, so I have a prediction. What my so what I'm thinking here, right? This is my big brain theory. All right, chat. This so my theory here is that Stranic, right, is in Russia. I'm pretty sure. I I know he's Russian. I think he's in Russia. And the only reason that he's still playing this build is because new builds haven't reached Russia since the war started. He's like, oh yeah. Carriers. <laughs> da. Carrier. <laughs> okay, this is um If this if this one gets out, it's so different. Oh my god, it's gonna Oh no, it dives in for more? Okay. A little sad. Could have killed Oh, drone's dying at the third. Oh man. Carrier's coming in here. Alright. That's true. Russians just have their own meta. All right. We've lost basically all the interceptors. <laughs> Comrade, stalker, good unit. Niet. Carrier, better unit. Carrier, big. 
carrier fly. Stalker require micro. Micro means I no hold vodka in one hand and carriers in another. <laughs> okay, that's as far as I can make it without laughing, chat. <laughs> I tried. I've just pissed off a whole lot of people, I'm sure. All of them Russian. What can I say? I'm just Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> I am I just I just know how the world operates, man. I I'm just Mr. Worldwide. Oh, Ling's trying to get in here. A good green battery is gonna save it though. Hey Javier, don't give away my strats. And apparently rat out strats. <laughs> we got hydras. Hydras are lean mean killing machines. Yeah, get that extractor. Brenda! No! No, the hydra den! No! Oh, muscular augment finishes, so it's fine. Oh my god, the hydras. Fucking big dick hydras. If you're a sub, you've got hydra chad. It, the chad emo is a hydra. Break them out, guys. Look at how, look at these lean, mean, fuck up machines. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. I also think you can buy this, the uh, emote with channel points. I don't remember. All right. Groove Spine's coming on up here. We're going to give them plus two range? Plus two range, I think. I know it makes them good. <laughs> All right. Archon Zealot with a little bit of Sky Toss. Third base under attack for Protoss. <laughs> All right. Just send in the Hydras. Send in the skeletons. Thing is, the that means we have no army at home. Uh, reinforcing Hydras doing their best to have some DPS here. There's nothing really. The Queens are tanking. The Queens are doing actually a really good job of tanking. But here comes the Hydras from the third. Oh, snap. And once this army meets up, this is going to look real good. Oh, but the main. The main of Radow is absolutely getting destroyed. All right. The main is getting savage. The natural is getting savage. Brenda, no. But the carriers are popping. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> this game just got all sideways. Alright, the lair will survive here. Yeah, and as the Protoss army gets cleaned up, we're looking at 30 supply advantage for Zerg. But, but Big Dick Tempest on the way. Fine, Tempest are a good unit. Hydra's are gonna chase down the last carrier though. May uh Warp Prism going into the main of the Zerg. Not really much to kill here. Like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna kill the tack. Like, yeah, yeah, it's whatever. Alright. All those zelds get cancelled. And bye lair. Or is that the hive? I can never tell the textures apart. I genuinely can't tell the layer and hive textures apart. Like, they just look the same to me. Yeah, where's Fion? <laughs> this is Fion's wheelhouse. Alright, Hydra's moving in here. They're going to try and get some damage done. Ah, the Tempest though. All right. <laughs> what if we ignored your very slow and not very quick firing unit? It just deleted your base instead. Well, Tempests are good, but also we just ignore them. Ah, oh, look how smooth it is to micro the Hydras after the update. Dark trying, trying, but... I mean, look at this. There's four roaches tanking, and these Hydras are just putting out so much DPS behind them. All right, we got Stormy Boys on the way. We've got the Dankest of Templars on the way. Can he do it? 
I don't think so. Lurker Den is up. So we can go ahead and just build, um, uh, what are they called? Oh, yeah, bullshit. No, no, no. Uh, lurkers. Yeah, we can build lurkers here in a minute. And those are good. Zerg does need to take another base here soon, though. Yeah, he's got a lot of oversaturation at that one, but that's going to go into gas soon. All right, storm is done. Protoss trying to retake the third again. All right, Roach is on a mission to make sure there's no fourth base. This is just due diligence at this point. All right, invisible men do not get in. Get out of here with your capes and your size and your bullshit. Look. All right, they're going to try and get in over here. Spores coming up. Yes, third place will be after this one. All right, DT slicing away at the fourth, slicing away at the third. Got him. The other DT is... Uh, also dead now. All right. Overlord speed is done. We got a lot of stormy boys. Ready to ruin your day. All right. These roaches basically just dead supply at this point. Throwing them away is nice. It gives you an idea of what the army is that you're dealing with as well. Roach speed is done. All right, here comes the Protoss Ball of Death. Not quite a death baller. Missing a little bit more power. Yeah, honestly, it was a good series, though. All right, Storm Good Unit against Hydras. Brood War, StarCraft 2, doesn't matter. Storm Good Unit. Oh my god, Storm. Alright, meanwhile the Corruptors going against the... Um, um, corruptors are winning the air fight. And without any sort of backing, the High Templars have to morph into Archons. And they're actually going to die. Uh, is this a bit of a too much from Stranic? Is Radow actually going to make it work? What was, like, incredible Storm. He just brings it around. GG. Right out, just showing a macro muscle here. Chink. Ah, storm good unit, guys. Storm, that'll never change. <laughs> All right. Storm, very good unit. I don't like Storm. Storm is too good of a unit. <laughs> All right. 1-1. One, one. It's tied up, baby. Storm, remember, please nerf. Not again. No, make feedback do full damage again. That's what we need. Dude, one of these one of these months, Gunner is just gonna show up and take it all, and I'm ready for it. It is the right screen. Fuck off. <laughs> ah, I'm being bullied by my observer. All right, spawning here in the bottom right hand side of Dragon Scales. My least favorite map in the pool to play, actually, is especially in this matchup. Give it up for our Wonder Boy, Stranic. And his opponent, 
in the top left hand side. Can he do it, Chad? He is really showing it. He, last game, he's like, no, 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 no. Trust me. I got this. Give it up for Radow. All right. Game one, he kind of just got A moved. Game two, he's like, mm, mm -mm, I'm going to build a Hydra, and the Hydra is a good unit. So, yeah. What does he do game three? Build more Hydras. Make hat make <laughs> Hydras should just be hatchery tech units. And they should be popular. All right. There we are. Gateways, or Nexus is up. Uh, core is up. We want hatch gas pool. God, it's so weird having someone to observe for you. I can just stretch. I can just smoke. I could go get a snack. I could. You guys can follow StarCraft. <coughs> I can go drive down to McDonald's. All right. Ooh, cancels the stalker. Uh, I think Rado saw it though. He definitely should see that um, warp gate's not spinning. We're getting that super fast stargate. That was nice. He cancels everything, get that super fast stargate. But Rado was like, mm, "Wait a minute, that ain't right. I got something for this." All right. We got some lings. All right. Overlord sacrificing himself to know that he's going to get hit by the same build three times. Oh my god, it fell on the Stargate. I didn't I don't know if I've ever seen it do that. They like interact with the building like that. That was weird. <laughs> this is full Protoss operator mode. He's a smooth operator. Yeah. All right, queens are at the front, ready for anything. Look at Brenda. She's like, yeah, look at me. All right. The Ling's in the depths, dancing around. Oh, forcing a drone pull is nice. All right, Twilight and Robo going down. Interesting. Glaives. Hell yeah, everyone. Come on, guys. We're all my heroes. Glaives, 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 Glaives. Yes. All of my heroes know. Salute for Goblin, for the boys. Plus one air weapons coming on in. Is he just selling the pl the um? Is he just trying to sell the um air weapons? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yes, yeah, six. Yeah, it might be all in actually. He got plus one. Yeah. yeah, the eight gates is the all in, I think. Eight gate glaives versus six gate glaives. All right, we got a lot of the ladies. Stranic doesn't need to fake a third because you're just going to be like, huh, Stranic didn't build a third. He's having a Stranic moment. And then you die to this. 
No roaches. All right, there's the Ling that scouts it. And... No roach is still being built. Oh no, one just hits the production tab. He's supply blocked. There's your issue. Oh, beautiful wall just in time. Almost killed his own creep tumor. Oh, wrong bud. All right. Glaze pushing in here. I accidentally activated my own observings now. There we are. All right, these glaze are going to absolutely kill the hatchery. Meanwhile, the third base is getting absolutely ravaged by them as well. Doing a very good job to keep them out of the natural. Oh, I... No. Oh. Yeah, just finish it and kill that. Oh, we have just so many. We're just taking fights with roaches here. We don't... There's no respect put on this. Two hatches down. Not a lot of drones lost, but... I mean, we killed a hatch. We could kill another. Oh, and here come the cape boys. Because how do you follow up Glaive to Depths and DTs? That are very, very spotted. Alright. Oh, Prism, run! Prism! No! Man's ready. Man's got spores. Spores for days. All right. Stranic slightly ahead in economy after all that. Not a whole lot. Third base coming on up here for Protoss. Zerg rebuilding hatches three and four. He's building more void rays, by the way. In case you were curious. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost the right click, Stranic. Like, wait a minute. That's my own adept. Alright, we see Roach Ravager. Observer here sees all, though. Alright, hatch finishes up. Flux veins. Okay. Our, the Void Rage are going to be fast as fuck. Do you remember what Void Rage were like back a couple years ago? We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it, bringing it, bringing it back. There's going to be a whole lot of around the map. All right, Rad Owl starting to sprinkle in some hydras here. Zerg is good. No, Frosty, we're not at two years now. We got four months to go. We're almost at two years. I think that's the point of just DM me. Oh well, check later. Yeah, we are. You're not at two years yet. If I invited you, would you even show up? Oh my god, the queen lives. Queens are way broken, guys. Queens need to be hard nerfed into the dirt. Like, basically just remove the queen's attack. And I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I was going to say, like, why would I even invite you? Alright, we lose a void rain. We kill the pool. We're building another mothership. You know what it, we know what we're about here. Minus 400, minus 400, let's go. Bzz, bzz. A sound Zerg players here in their nightmare still. Bzz, bzz. Yeah, it looks like he just might. 
Don't worry. We got Zerg. We have one hotkey. That's F2. And then we hit stutter step a bunch of times. We hit the skill button, which is the um, stop. Oh, there's the other skill button, Biles. Why are we even respecting... Oh, I guess DTs are here. That's a problem. We're getting pushed in the top as well. Oh, there's Zealots up top. Oh, no, it's the bzzz. It's the bzzz. 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 Oh, come on. Like, a bile or two will end. The yeah. If a bile connects here, it kills all of them. Oh, come on. Yeah. Pop, you glass cannons. No hydras. No more hydras. I have hit the delete hydra button. Skill. All right, we're going to recall on out of there. That's a smart idea at this point. F2, F2, F2. Everyone's favorite hotkey. All right. It looks like we killed one of our buildings to get out easier, and then none of our units took the path anyway. Well done, pathing. God, StarCraft 2 is an old game, guys. Don't forget. Because it feels new. Just because it's still the best on the market doesn't mean it's not old. Alright, we lose this Nexus again. Alright, we're trying to target down the Overseers. Not a bad idea. Alright, Chronos just getting deleted here, there's no batteries left, there's nothing, the mothership is here but it's too late, I'ma go home, oh we got some high templars here, they have been smoking, they are very high templars. Almost is they've almost been smoking as much as me. And here comes Zerg. Uh green battery. Uh green battery's kinda good. Probably kill that. Yeah. Archon's inside of a green battery. Yeah, kinda good. Oh, uh, there's no detection. Where did the detection go? Where are my overseers? I mean to be fair, killing forty workers. It's, it's good. It's a good start. My brother, where are your overseers? Yeah, it's over as soon as he has detection. Ah, oh, there they are. I found them. Alright. Oh, let's do the time warp again. Biles down a carrier. What a chad. Alright, DTs are going to go over here and delete some workers. Alright. Oh, we're trying to inject. Save it. Save it, ladies. Come on. Oh my god, queens. Are you kidding? How good are queens? My boys. Queens are just too good. Oh, Storm hadn't even started yet? What? <laughs> Bro. Okay, yeah, Stranic is dead. If he wasn't dead before, he's double, triple dead now. He is Omega dead. Yeah, GG. Right out brings it. 2 1, guys. Let's go. That's not... This is...
This is um, a little bit of an upset here, almost. <laughs> well, ship needs an attack buff. Yeah, I could use one. There we are. All right, guys. Game number four. All right. Guys, game number four. This series, this has the potential of going to game five. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we end up in game five. Hey, guys, look. I switched the scene. My man, I don't need, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that should be locked on. There we go. Perfect. Let me do the scoreboardy. All right. Spawning here in the bottom left-hand side with the blue probes representing platoon. Come on, guys. He's down a point. Can he bring it back? Yes, he can, I believe. Give it up for Stranick. And his opponent in the top right showing that Zerg. Zerg's good, guys. Zerg is very good. Give it up for Radow. A Zerg potentially in the finals? Has that even ever happened? I genuinely don't know if that's ever happened. Uh, we are at altitude, a map that is a, approximately 18 miles across, give or take. Rough estimates. So, yeah, the rush distance is like, what, two hours and change by bike? Longer if you use Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll see how they get these guys act, you know, probably very macro-y. Yeah, we're like we're getting stuff like Nexus before uh Nexus before core. Hatch first, yeah. These guys are as greedy as they come on a map like this. Alright. Well, just choosing the macro on up here. Link speed coming up. Stalker first. That's interesting, actually. Instead of adept first. Interesting. Straight into Stargate again. Wings run out to get the probe, and the probe just kind of walks away. And they're like, huh, where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, so probe's just going to get away unscathed. Overlord scouts the Stargate. Oh, my God. Well, then it's not death. Sorry, Rat Out. You're destined to lose then. You can't win until next month. That way it's 7, 14, and 21. Yeah, okay. I guess Rat Out can't win today, guys. Sorry. Fate has determined it. LS, you better have them godly splits. <laughs> All right, I'd have to go look at this watchtower for a bit. <laughs> oh God, just what we need in eight hour finals. Fucking mech players. 
Durr, they're gonna watch me move tanks for four hours. <laughs> My interpretation of a mech player. I don't have anything else to do today. I'll always eat. I've got so much food. I'm probably actually going to grab a snack after this series. Mm, here comes the Void Boy. This is an Overlord in the Chasm. Got a drone. Should grab that Overlord now. He's right in the path of it. There you go. Make the beam thick. Thick, thick, thick. All right, adepts at the third are going to get picked off here. All right, lings get cleaned up, though, in the end by some more adepts. Third base is going to go down. Uh, a little late. Alright, looks like the Adepts are moving in towards that third base of Zerg. And there's nothing here to stop them. Grab a couple drones. Shade on out. Ooh, they're going to shade aggressively. Oh, they're sending it. Sending it right into the natural. Oh, it's six drones down for two Adepts. Seven drones. All right. Yeah, I'll take that trade. That's a that's a trade I'll take. Carriers are coming on up here. Look at these guys. Look at them limps. All right, what do we got here? Right out dead. Bold predictions. All right, well, that overlord's definitely dead. Pew, 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 pew. All right, bye, Spore. Bye, Queen. Oh, uh, yeah, if we keep dropping Queen, we're in a bad spot, that's for sure. Oh, we're starting to take some hull damage. We don't want that. And we burned through quite a few infuses there. But we didn't really break anything. Couple lings over here get down from the sky. Dude, have you ever seen like the real scale mods? Void rays are huge. Like it's ridiculous. Like the beam is the size of like a nexus. Void rays are, void rays are beastly. All right, the four carrier run by. Let's go into a mothership. All right. Meanwhile, units are running into the third. Get some multi pronged attack here. The spawning pool is going to go down. Drones are going down. All right. Depths are going to get cleaned up here. There's just not enough hydras to fight this. Two small numbers. Choose the carriers can just keep on winning. Yeah. Oh, we've lost all our interceptors, though. We gotta pull back for a minute here. Dude, no. Anti timings are the best timings, guys. Just remember, why attack when you're stronger? When you can attack right before it and assert dominance. Alright, some roaches moving out here. 
Uh, n having, I'm spoiled now. Like, I can't go back to observing my own casting. Are you kidding? This is, this is spoiled me rotten. Mothership's gonna pop up here. Uh, just leading back, you're just like, eh, this, is, this is some StarCraft happening. Fuck. <laughs> this is great. Thank you, my man. I, I see why this is just how things are done. The, like, obviously, you don't want your casters um, observing, but like this, it, it really makes a difference. You don't realize until you get it. All right, Rado's on four bases. Plenty of high Templar here. All right. More and more air weapons come in here. Want them to be stronger. Harder, faster, stronger, better. Queens are always better than you think. Queens are so good. Lurker done. All right. Yeah, probably just me. <laughs> probably just whoever's casting. It's going to be a little weird. Because um, the two casters are going to be sitting side by side, staring at the same computer. So it'll just be one of them observing, the other one just not. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. I'm not even... Uh, don't touch the mouse. All right. All right, Hydra ball building up here. You know it's better than Hydra's storm, flux veins. We're making our void rays speedy, speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Start swimming or digging, like whatever it takes. You know, around or through. Like, come on, there's ways to get around the world. If you start now, you should make it by Saturday. So, should take you a week. Oh, that road torrent's about to pop. Rip. All right. All right. We are just eating away. God, consume does a lot of damage to buildings. Like, damn, I didn't realize it did that much damage. Changeling's going out here. The map is covered in creep as well. Yeah, the creep spread is looking fantastic. Now, Protoss on four base. This is, this is like a mech player, right? This is like Terran Mac, where you just... I got my four bases, and I'm just going to sit here. This might be the hour-long game. We might find, we might get it from altitude, which makes sense. Yeah, he is a Saiyan. You're right. He's a super Saiyan. All right, we just kind of start hop, hop, skipping, and jumping forward. All right, yoink, 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 yoink. Oh, the storms! What a big fight, though. Oh, the carriers are popping. The storms are good. The feedbacks are better. Oh my God. Oh my god. What? No. No. Protoss don't crack, brother. Damn. Alright. Army moving around here. Alright. 
cleaning up a little bit of creep, but here come the Hydras. Oh! It's basically the Loco Maneuver. Just with Hydras. Yoink. We're going fishing, boys. Imagine if, um, Void, like, imagine if Yoinking was a uh, skill shot. Oh, what's happening at the Zerg Fourth? All right, Delos are ripping apart things. All right. Oh, hello, Mr. Zealot. All right, we're going to push into this. We're pushing into Green Batter, which is never good. And kind of like the whole Protoss army, which is also not good. Oh, but all the Archons pop immediately into one spine. Oh, you hate to see it. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Four hours of sleep is starting to catch up with me. <laughs> I got to bed at like... No, I, I got to bed at like 2.33. And I woke up at like 6.37. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are taking the gold. Oh, man. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. All right. Protoss grabbing a fifth base, content to just kind of, you know, keep his economy moving. I mean, yeah, if you just take a fight with Zerg and expand behind it, yeah, you're going to be in a good spot. Another Mama ship coming on up here. Um, tectonic destabilizer so we're gonna get tempest at some point my my um, destabilizers are gonna get tectonic all right yeah now it's just a protoss death ball once he all we got to do is wait for him to a move guys starcraft 2 fun game no, I'm kidding. I'm messing around, guys. These players are trying to get their upgrades. They're trying to get everything in a row ready. Expecting the other person to push in, but neither one is actually pushing in. He's just sitting there in an arc. <laughs> ah. Why the fuck am I supposed to break if he's just sitting there in an arc? Yep, this has got this has got hour long game written all over it, guys. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> all right, these zealots not gonna get a whole lot done between the spines and the lurkers. Inner artosis. No one wants an inner artosis. All right, we're securing another base at Zerg. Zerg's got basically half the map at this point. Gonna come over here and deny a Protoss base. This is huge. Green battery's activated, but there's no army here. It's just cannons. It's not enough to hold off. Nah, these are 3-3 Hydras, bro. They don't mess around. Meanwhile, we're just gonna go for the counterattack. Okay. There's the yoink. It's not quite the minus 400 yet, though. Oh, it survives. What? Oh, my God. 15 health. 15 health. I don't know how well you can see that next to the camera. But, yeah, there's 15 health on this baby. All right. Now with a bunch of zealot warp ins here. We're able to push back to Zerg. Guys, guys, are we doing it? Are we going to go to game five? The Hydras are going to trade out here against the Zealots. This is Brood War in a nutshell. 
And Zerg has just lost two bases for the cost of one. Oh, the feedbacks, the storms. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Minus 400, minus 400, but also worth every penny. Yeah, this is um, Sky Toss good unit, guys, especially when it's well upgraded. Guys, we're bringing it in to game five. GG's. No GG, no bitches. <laughs> that, remember, that's the, the golden rule of StarCraft. No GG, no bitches. All right. Oh, yeah. He's updating hotkeys. All right. No. No, because then you're just saying don't GG on the ladder. Yeah, Stranic doing Stranic things. Always GG. You should always GG. No GG, nope. <laughs> I'll stick with my no GG, no bitches. Uh, Alright guys, this is game number five. Let's sit up. Let's make sure we activate the scene. Let's stretch even. Uh, uh, make sure to stretch, chat. It's very important to stretch after sitting for this long. All right, so yes, this. All right, oop. All right. Spawning here in the bottom left-hand side with the blue probes. Give it up for Platoon Stranic, bringing it back. And his opponent on the precipice of winning. Can he do it? Can he finish it out, guys? It's rad out. Hey, you know, you say you sit in the salt mines. I grew up actually in the salt mine city. Like, my city that I grew up in is known for salt mining. <laughs> I wonder if my Frost Shine video is still up. I know someone was talking about it. Since we got a moment here, I'm just going to... Pull up the worst app in the world. It's the YouTube Creator app. Oh, it's fucking popping off. Oh, shit. It's popping off. Let's go. you love to see it. All right. Everything's looking nice and standard here from the boys. These guys just ready to macro it out. <laughs> normally, it, like normally in a game like this, you'd expect a cheese at some point. But no, no, these two just ready to just throw hands. You love to see it. Oh yeah. All right, Stalker coming on up here. Adept is already across the map. Stargate, a little bit later than the last couple of games, but it's coming. All right, Stalker's going to go ahead and just poke at the overlord. Hey. 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 
I was like, hey, leave me alone. Oh, come on. Got him. Got him, boys. And now you're painfully supply blocked. Welcome to playing Zerg. All right. Link speed coming on up here. Depth's just poking around, seeing what's going on here. Shading in. Sees the third. Just gonna, you know, count the queens. Just, you know, see what's going on here. Oh, kind of a mistake. Gonna still get a link or uh, drone at least. At least it gets a drone. And one to one is actually a very bad trade. You want like two to one. But, you know, you take what you can get. Especially with what might have been just a misclick. Alright, Link's gonna run past the ship. The Void Ray ship. Oh, yeah, 3 to 1 is the dream. Yeah, you know, if one Adept could kill 27 drones, like, yeah, I'm fucking. Uh, I'm, I'm sold, but. The adepts are getting better odds than I get. <laughs> uh, chat. These people in chat are just unre un unreasonable. Ah, uh, damn Twitch chat. All right. Two adepts coming in here. There you are. There's a one to one. Oh, no, we're still at a one-to-one -one ratio. Oh, come on. We got to do better than one-to-one. -one. All right, three. All right, there's our two-to-one. All right, that's two-to-one's acceptable. All right. From here... Just build carriers plus one. Like, he's just doing the thing. No, what is better than two to one, Bulmy? Tell me, please. Four to twenty. My favorite number range. <laughs> Invoices in the mail. Good luck, bro. I'm broke. Well, actually, no. I am slightly less broke because I had to get my... Uh, I brought my car into the shop today, right? And... Because my AC has been having issues. Like, you'd start turning it up. And, and like, it's not supposed to do that when you turn up the AC. So I bring it in. And a few... Like, uh, back in March, I had brought it in. And they're like, hey, your compressor might be going. Your AC compressor. I'm like, all right, I'll get that looked at eventually. And, well, it's now eventually. And so I bring it in, and they're like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, the AC's making this noise. Like, the um, last guy said it might be the compressor. And they're like, all right, let's take a look. And then he, they get my car up, and he calls me. He's like, yeah, I don't think it's your compressor. We can't really see it. But um, we can see the fact that your uh, timing belt's shot, and the tensioner is absolutely broken. So, um, yeah, that could be your issue. You know what? Huh. Okay. And so they replaced it. They call me back. They're like, yeah, so it's like a quarter. It's a quarter of what we thought it was going to be because it's just the tensioner instead of the um, compressor and such. And condenser. So, yeah. It's a good day. Oh, God. Maybe not for Stranic. That might have been the worst recall. That might have been the worst recall. Oh my god, he's gonna just get him out of there. Oh no, is he? Okay, yeah, he's gonna get him out of there. 
Look at all these Hydra corpses. You hungry? Do you think the lasers from the interceptors would sear the meat? Like, do you think it'd be cooked? Yeah, he saves the Nexus, which is the critical part there. But more importantly, do you think that, like, if you were, like, to come by, like, a Hydra that died to a Void Ray or something, right? Do you think it'd be cooked? I, I, I mean, it's just fair, but would like the around that be cooked? It's just like, huh? All right. Hydra's good unit. Someone send this to Lambo. Someone send this to repo this series to Lambo. So we can be like, oh no, hydras are good. That's true. Why well, the queens are here? Hello, ladies. So the thing is, right? There's a theoretical distance that you have to be from a hand grenade to perfectly cook a steak, right? Like it's it, it it's kind of like how many like. How hard do you have to slap a chicken to cook it, right? It's, it's a dumb idea. But the idea of, like, theoretically, there's a point of where you have a hand grenade because it re releases heat energy. Like, it releases energy. It can be turned into heat. And you have a steak. Like, at some theoretical distance, it would cook it perfectly. It's just, like, the original, I think, the original idea was um, how far away from a nuclear blast would you have to be to perfectly cook your food? But, yeah, it was just like, it's one of those things that I've, I've thought way too much about. Also, if you're curious, um, about slapping a chicken until it's cooked, someone did it. There's a YouTube series on it or a guy had to do, it was like three attempts cause he had issues with his machines. Yeah. Theoretically, a nuclear blast at a certain distance would perfectly cook a steak. All right, another mothership on the way. Well, no, I mean, theoretically, if you just apply the heat to it. I don't know. It's one of those in theory concepts. For the chicken, it's repeated slaps, so it's not just all in one. Oh, rake. recall saved. <laughs> the micro, the absolute micro from the Protoss player here. Oh, bye, Zealot. You don't have charge yet. You forgot your running shoes at home. All right. All right, there you go. Now they got the running shoes. Red House just like randomly moving in small amounts of Hydras. And it's weird because it shouldn't work. But every once in a while it does. But here he's going to just kill a bunch of interceptors and that's money. Like, that's not that's not the worst trade right there. He didn't really lose anything. Dude, Protoss does need a buff. No, nope. Zelda's going to respect the six queens. And dozen Hydras. All right, guys. Plus one armor finishing up here. Overlord speed. Carriers, though. Starting to really get their numbers up. Spire is coming up here, so we can try and get some Corruptors. See how well that's worked out in the past. He's just sitting there.
Oh, the storms. Protoss death ball go A move. <laughs> I'm so glad they gave me a uh, race that I could play with two fingers. The F one for F2 and one for A. Uh, Blizzard really thought of everyone when they made Protoss, right? It's the most uh, accessible race. For those with disability. They're like, oh, the combat veteran who lost an arm? Yeah, he can play Protoss, right? Perfect. I say that as if I don't play Protoss. But yeah, this is um this is over. GG is called. Stranic is going to take game number five. Just. Just taking the series. That was a, um, that was a series. That was fantastic is what that was. Oh, that's rewind. I'm stupid. All right, guys. We did it. We done did it, guys. That is our second semifinal. We now have our finalists. Stranic taking a beautiful 3-2 here. He's going to play against Ellis Drain. But before that, we get Red Owl v. Gunner for third place. And before that, before we do third place, I'm going to take a quick break. But, yes, start doing vetoes and shit. But I'm going to take a quick break. <laughs> I need a um, a lot more water and a snack. But yeah, so we're I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break, guys. They're gonna get the vetoes done, and then we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Yo, love snow. Thank you for the raid. Good luck with the weather out there, my man. I know it ain't pretty. So, uh, good luck, my dude. Hope it's going good for you. Thank you. Welcome, Raiders. Sorry. I <laughs> we just got done with a long series. I had to go bathroom. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, I'm asking him about it right now. Got my snack. All right, guys. Red Owl says he is pretty beat, so we're going to go ahead and make it a best of three for him. That also helps our boys in the finals here get up just a little bit sooner, so. You know, it helps out everyone. Hmm. All right, guys, here we go. Third place. Ah, now this one I'm curious for. I'm very curious to see how this gets played out. Unfortunately, this does mean Ellis is not going to get a TVZ finals. All right. Spawning here. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, spawning here. In the bottom, right-hand side, with the Platinum Heroes representation. Give it up for Gunner. And his opponent in the top left, with the Purple Drones. Give it up for Rado. Played an incredible series. All right, don't mind me. I'm just stuffing my face real quick. Hotkeys are overrated. Use your mouse for everything. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Pool goes down. Kind of blocks the probe's rotation path. Probe is very sad about this. And as such, he wants to steal some minerals. All right. Gonna go Nexus before core. You know, that good standard stuff. That good, good stuff, you know. Dang it, having an observer, man. <laughs> I keep like trying to grab my mouse and start clicking, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> All right. All right, probe just scouting around. Oh, block the third. Yo, dead weight. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get a snack in me. I haven't eaten much today. All right. Back to casting. Mm. We're taking the rich gas. I know, right? 
Well, I hate eating on stream. I really just try to avoid it at all costs. But sometimes, you know, you just got to get a snack. All right. Adept's going to shade in here. We're going Glaze behind this. So we're actually going to go for an Adept push. So it's critical that these don't actually finish their shade. Ugh. Oh, man. So how you doing, Dad? All right. We're going to let the shade finish here. Uh, you don't really want to lose these. It's the big thing. That's why you usually don't shade them in. Now we're going to lose one. All right. Well, we can actually force drones away from the third. That's nice. Nice. Ooh, that's awful. That's awful. That's awesome. Bro, let me tell you something. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. <laughs> I'm just tired, boss. All right, Dap's going in. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. If they're anything like the Hydra, they're going to be beautiful. Oh, that reminds me, I got to go down to Amazon tonight. You got to get an Amazoodle and buy my stuff. <laughs> All right, he doesn't quite know if he wants to load up or walk in. All right, whoa, roaches. Roaches are a problem. <laughs> All right. Dark Shrine on the back of this, along with spores, so. Right, I was not dead, not by any stretch. Well, let's see what these adepts get done. Not quite committing with them yet. Just kind of harassing the third base. Prism in the main, though. That could get some craziness. Oh, all the lings are there. All right. Roach is trying to push back the ball of adepts. Oh! Missed. All right. And we kind of just donated all of our depths. That's a problem. This attack is not going good for Gunner. Platinum heroes in shambles, guys. <laughs> heroes in shambles. We can't fucking Glaives. Glaives is our fucking team build. <laughs> Alright, now there's some invisible men in here as well. All right, depths cancel their shade. Oh, forget killing drones. Let's just kill the hatch. Uh, yeah, there's no detection here. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna try and body block and catch them when the observer for the observer to come out or the overseer. Observer. Oh, can they kill at least a couple more queens? No. Nope, they get wrecked. <laughs> Bye, invisible men. All right, more, more adepts. Just keep building adepts. Right? I mean, if you look at the worker count, it is 38 to 52. Maybe he's onto something, guys. Maybe he's on to something here. He's down at army supply, but roaches are very supply heavy, right? Like, having a lot of roaches is very deceiving. Ah, yes. One, what stronger? One very thin petite girl or one absolute monster walker filled with guns? Sorry, one petite gal on hold position, specifically. All right, let's just kill a couple more drones. Bye, drones. All 
Well, going for the prism. Misses. All right, and there's that three to one Bulmy was talking about earlier. Good, solid three to one on the adapts to drones. Love to see it. Dude, this, is, this person was just causing problems. All right, we're just gonna let these adepts die. But we're gonna go for the push across the map. Roach Ravager, we do have at least one immortal. We got Archons, DTs. With batteries, this should be a good easy hold, yeah. Love to see like one more. Oh, okay. There's more mortals. The more mortals. All right. We don't have charge yet. Something we could probably get soon. Now, and then you just go into our kind of mortal charge lot, and it's just you know, it's the gold standard comp for a reason. Like it just it just works, right? <laughs> Alright, we're making more Archons. Throwing in a couple Stalkers. That's interesting. Stalkers don't quite fit the comp, but... You know, they add a little something. I guess the Zealots aren't going to add much since you don't have, um... Charge. Oh! Lings are in. Lings are in and they are causing problems. Oh, well, I guess they're not actually going to cause a whole lot of problems. Might chew up a pylon or something. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, buy battery. All right. And Zerg's just kind of sharking around here, looking for an opportunity, looking for a, you know, quick grab on a couple batteries, coming and grab a couple units. He doesn't really have a fighting army, though. Yeah, look, like, he goes in for a fight, and it's just, it's bad. The creep, though, is already at the rich base for Protoss. The like, gunner is trapped. All right. His army is so good that he can win any outright fight, but... Yeah. Red Owl is essentially all in at this point. He is just down a three base all in. He's gonna try and build workers to make it look like he's not all in, but he's he's essentially all in at this point. Like the time for workers was before. Like this is no longer the time for workers. This is the time for army. Still no charge, so these zelts are literally just wasted supply. Like they're not really eating a whole lot of shots. They're not connecting, so they're not doing damage. Like, yeah, this is, there we go. He's like, huh, why do my zealots suck? Oh, they don't know how to run. Yeah, honestly, right out should just really try and bait an army into a spot where he can, what you want to do is you want to like throw out biles and run, throw out some biles and run, because that's really how you're going to whittle down the Protoss army to something you can fight. All right, here we go. He's going to try and crack the natural. Good warp in there. Make sure he doesn't get any chance to. All right, charge a little over halfway down, but still not done. Oh, we're getting F2'd. Gunner, no. Why are you using F2? Just use any other button. Because, <laughs> yeah, he just F2'd those zealots back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, big rip. Big rip on the F2 moment. But it doesn't really matter. He's still up 20-something workers. The only reason he hasn't really won is because he can't take a good fight in this choked-up area. The moment he takes a good fight, it's over. We're more Ravagers than Roaches at this point. Which kind of sucks for the Immortals, but also it's still like... You're going to get ripped apart. Zelts now have charge. 
which means they're good. And yeah, we're just gonna death ball across. No, no, no. J just keep going. Death ball across the map. You win. You win this. I generally don't know if there's any way you could lose. All right. Grab the creep tumor. All right, run buys running past run buys. You love to see it. All right. Oh, files will grab an archon. That's fine. Archons were always meant to die, at least in lore. All right, we're gonna get our forge, so we're gonna start our upgrades here. And he needs another base now. 63 workers is great and all, but you're mining out at this point. We're 14 minutes into the game. You need to you need to expand a, to a fourth. You just forget everything else. You need a fourth. I would personally mine out the gold minerals and take the um, under base, but either way, that red out just gonna tap out, I guess. So yeah, nope, not worth it. GG. See you in game number two. <laughs> oh my, fuck me. <laughs> I keep hitting rewind instead of score screen. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Game number two. Let's get it on. Mm, all right, a bit of lag. It's beautiful. You'll love to see it. Brood War moment where it just hit zero and it doesn't start. And you're like, lag, 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 lag. Okay. All right. Spawning here. Oh. Come on. No. Pfft. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, the observer overlay just makes me angry sometimes. This is spawning here in the bottom left-hand side with the orange probes. Give it up for Platinum Heroes is Gunner. And on the top, right hand side, with the purple drones representing nobody but himself. Give it up for Rado. Alright. Man's a little tired. Let's see if he can't bring it back, though. Give us a good old game three. All right. Probe scout, just gonna go see what's going on. Yo, Angry Dog, thank you for the follow, my man. It's appreciated. Welcome. If you like bad jokes in StarCraft, you're in the right spot. I'm bad at <laughs> definitely definitely got bad jokes <laughs> definitely got Starcraft no you won't don't don't lie to yourself your hockeys will never be fixed unfortunately mr. stone all right so far everyone just wants to macro the hell? The whole point of CSL is nobody macroed. It was just, you know, be silly. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. 
These players are just good at the game and they like playing it, so who am I to judge? Alright. Third hatch going down here. Adept going across. You know what's really interesting? Is that how much effort StarCraft 2 put in to making the early game interesting at much quicker pace? And yet, it's not, is it? Like, are, is this any faster than Brood War at this point? And I look at my YouTube cast where I can skip, you know, to the point where something is happening and, like, people are on the other side of the map. You know, I can skip ahead to, you know, a minute 30 to two minutes, which is about when the Adepts arrive. Like, has it really made the early game better or quicker, I should say? That, that hatchery isn't misplaced, right? Doesn't look like it, but I'm not sure. No, okay, no, it's good. Should be good at least. But yeah, it's just one of those weird things. It's like Blizzard has spent 13, well, they spent realistically like six years trying to make it so that way it wasn't quite as slow as StarCraft uh, Brood War. And instead, have they created something better or have they just kind of like re-engineered the problem in a different way? <coughs> All right. Got some more depth coming on up here. Twilight Council. Is he doing it again? Chat, is he going to do it? Forge coming on up here. Guys, he might be doing it. Glaives. 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 Oh, uh, no. He's going to throw the adepts away, so. All right. Four adepts for seven workers. Not a bad trade. Not quite, you know, two to one, but eh, I'll take it. Although, you know, a few of those kills were the oracles, so, you know, I was like, eh, how much is it worth it? But, oh, Oracle just got got. Bye, Oracle. Nah, now it's definitely not worth it. Now it's really not good. All right, we're going to need some beep, beep. Got him. All right, the Hydra Den's here. Y'all know I love me a good Hydra Den. All right. Yeah, blank plus one, and it's kind of like that hero style. Everything's a hero style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everyone says everything's a hero style, but it, you know, where he was doing those oracle builds, like Oracle Blink Stalker, except he's just not going oracles, which is very interesting. Because Blink Stalkers aren't that great against Zerg. They just kind of get swarmed and die. Although against Hydras, uh, maybe. Maybe there's a chance. We're going to find out together. That's for sure. All right. Bzz. Stasis wards, grabbing units. Hydra's like, eh, maybe not today. Eh, 
maybe not. Okay. Here we go. Bunch of links. Some slow hydras coming in here. Muscular augments not done. Groove spines is done, so they do have their range. Look at them. They're killing from so far away. All right. We're blinking. Blink, boys. Ping, ping, ping. All right. Storm's coming up. Storm's a very good counter to Hydra's, as we've seen a couple of times today. And I think Gunner was watching those matches. He's like, hmm, I know what I'm going to do. Dead, dead. Dead. That was like, all I have to do to earn 10 bucks is hit the storm button a couple times. Sign me up. All right. Lings will find the army for better and for worse. All right, here come the hydras. They're swimming. There's a swimming sound. I never knew that. All right, Overlord tags the army. Or Overlord Oracle. Oh, first storm not really doing a whole lot. Oh, the hydras are going to get a cancel on the Nexus. Banelink speed coming up here. That's a choice. High Templars auto attacking or auto moving forward. Uh, remember, the whole point of High Templars getting an auto attack is so they didn't just A move forward and die because Protoss didn't know how to control them. And yet they still do that. All right, Bane Link's coming on up here. Ling Bane Hydra is a composition you can play. Not a bad one at all, actually. And against Stalker Zealot, yeah, it's actually a pretty good counter. So let's see. Rado might have something up his sleeve here. He's just like, you know what? The Bane Ling. All right. A little oversaturated here, but not too bad. Trying to get up another base here. Lings are going to try and create a problem. All right. Lings will run away. This will put Protoss up on five bases if you can keep it all. There's a big if. All right, he sees the army coming. Storms go down. No observers here, though. You got oracles. You can revelate them. And he doesn't have oracles anymore, so he can't revelate anymore. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Storm, storm, storm. Or just blink them down while they're still relevated. Rele revelated. Ugh. Ugh. Guys, don't skip on sleep. Sleep is important. Can confirm. Alright, Zerg is maxed out on this. 10 worker lead, 30 uh, army supply lead. Looking pretty good. And to be fair, all of Protoss' supply here is in gateway units. Like, Hydraling Bane is good against um, gateway units. I mean, we kind of created our own choke here with the Lings. So, uh, not much we can do with that, but. Alright, now that they're on Frozen, we can really push the issue. Alright, remember, it takes 35 Banelings to kill an Archon. 
give or take. Like, genuinely, I think it's like 32 to 35 Banlings to kill an Archon after they got um, nerfed into the dirt against shield damage. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We can double check, but I think it was actually in the patch notes back in like 2020 when they did it. So yeah, it's, it, uh, it's like it's gonna take a lot now. No, they removed a. Uh, I think they had a bonus towards shields. Or they had a different amount of damage for shields, and they changed it, so they do less damage to shields. Like, like the, they got nerfed. <laughs> Banelings got nerfed. Oh, that's what it was. So they lowered base damage, which affects shields. Or Archons in general, specifically, I guess. But yeah, it, either way. Banelings got nerfed. Archons don't die to them. Alright, the... The lurkers are grinding up the army. Oh, God. And he's got 80 more supplies somewhere. Like, yeah, um, Gunner, get out of his game. Here come the Bane. Do, 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 do. <laughs> GG. All right, guys, game number three. We're going to go all the way. All the way. Fingers are starting to hurt. <laughs> yeah. It's work. <laughs> like, now, wait a minute. <laughs> lock, lock. I was like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got another game, guys. Game number three. All the way between these two. I'm excited. Even going to switch the scene for you. Oh, there we are. All right, guys, spawning here in the bottom right hand side, tied up one each. This is match point. Can he do it? It is our hero, Gunner, and his opponent in the top left hand side with the purple drones, tying it up. Come on, let's see what he can do. Give it up for Rado. All right. Let's see what we get out of these guys. All right. There we are. Music just didn't work. One, one, let me play. No, you have to wait. You had to get 03'd? Eh. Eh. Probably. <laughs> but that's no fun. That's not a fun way to look at it. Come on. Look at it as you're gonna take a map and you're gonna you're gonna make them like it. 
I want it to be a 3-1, all right? I want to see you take a map. I think you can do it. Trust me, there is a secret build, and you know it. I know you know it. You did it to Gunner. <laughs> was it you did it to Gunner? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. You three racks them. Nah. The only side I'm, the only side I'm on is Platinum Heroes. Also, I I wouldn't be on Protoss' side, but I'm always against Terran, so like th there's that. Lock Lock's like, let me train you. Lock Lock's gonna give you all the tips and tricks. There's no coaching during the actual game. Lock Lock, I'll fight you. Alright. Everything's proceeding pretty normally. Stargate coming on up here, gets a couple of adapts. Uh, Zerg is just expanding, building up some drones. All right. Oracle coming on up here. All right. Oh, Lings have something to say about it. They said, get out. Uh, they said, ah, we'll go to the next base. Oh, one adept is down. Both adepts are down. That's a one-to-one -one trade. That's not what you want. That's not what you want at all. All right. Oracle going. It's going to go Avenge, hopefully. His fallen sisters. Well, I guess the oracles are her. Her fallen sisters. All right. Here we go. Let's kill some boys. Roasting, toasting some drones. Nope. Just forcing out spores. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Rip. Rip internet hells. Unfortunately, Internet Hells is known for having bad internet. <laughs> Which, you know, as an observer, unfortunate, but eh, it happens to the best of us. My internet sucks, so I, I got nothing to say about it. Hmm, all right. Alright. Adept's getting in here, killing a couple more workers. Joining the Oracle and getting a bit of damage done. Oh, uh, one more. Oh, no! Almost had it. Almost had it. Oh, Stasis gonna go. Bro. Bro, how did that not fire? What? What? <laughs> Excuse me, game. Excuse Blizzard. Um, hello. 
I'm gonna call Blizzard on both of my phones. Hang on. Blizzard? Blizzard, this is bullshit. What the fuck? Alright. And at this point, Rad, I was a little bit up in supply here. Got a couple extra workers, some more army. All right, we revelate all the creep tumors that are still building and very visible. All right. Oh, <laughs> got him. Get out of here, creep tumor. We knew you were building there. Yeah, that's like all the creep that right I was working on in this area. All right. Blinks. 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 Hmm. All right. Ling's coming on in here. Just kind of searching for bases. They're not going to find any. Protoss is actually expanding um, upwards. A little bit more of an aggressive base. All right, Linger is not gonna see it. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. How dare you take this base? All right, Slow Zealot's coming in to save the day. They're just gonna walk over there. Don't worry, guys. We'll get there when we get there. Whoa! Wow! Didn't kill that. Oh my lord. Rad out cracked. What? Excuse me? Sending out just lings to catch these stasis traps. Absolutely beautiful. Just barely missing the second one. That was quality. All right, Protoss working on charge, getting some Robos. Zerg getting Muscular Augments or getting Baneling Speed. You know, it's just, it's upgrade time. Hydraling Bane it is. Hydraling Bane is a fun comp. It's like Ling Bane, but less Remaxy. It's a very good 66 drone uh, build. Lurker Den coming on up here, so we even have a transition for our late game. Alright, storms go down. Oh, another storm goes down. Alright, I know we talked about earlier that, like, um, Void Race probably wouldn't cook a Hydralisk. But does Scythe Storm? Would a Scythe Storm leave a Hydra perfectly cooked? Come on, guys, these are the real questions. You're welcome. I mean, theoretically, lightning could perfectly cook something, and it's psionic, so it's using the mind energy. <laughs> Probably burnt. Eh. Could you imagine you're just a high temple and you're like, I want my hydralisk to get medium rare. And it kills him just enough to get medium rare. Oh, okay. Grab a couple of High Templars there. One or two. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. All right. Zealots in the main. We had Zealots at the third. We got an army pushing at the fourth. Ah, uh, this is a mess for Zerg. There's Zealots everywhere. Infestation pit being clicked down. Hi Lurker Den about to go down. About to get clicked down, I should say. Bye, Lurker Den. Come on, boys. Yeah. Get out of here, Seismic Spines. Hey, you get to play my favorite game that I played when I lived in the city, or when I was in the city. Fireworks or gunshots? 
Everyone's favorite guessing game. This is bullying. Just puts another stasis trap in front of them. So if they roll forward, they just do it again. Hmm. Can't play that game in Europe, sadly. Hmm. Oh, really? Because I was able to play it in a place where you couldn't buy guns. <laughs> that was commonplace in Syracuse. Can't get guns there. All right, setting up. We've given up on this hat troop. We're burrowing the lurkers back a bit. All right. Okay. I mean, man, it it it's France. It could be gunshots. It could be the riots. There's always riots. I'm just, I don't know. Some of the videos that have come out with like riders with like AKs and shit. It's like, ah, hmm. All right, Zerg's gonna pounce on this army. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Oh god, lurkers are good. Lurkers are good, guys. Yeah, that army just gets ripped to shreds. Oh, we've moved commanded into it. Well, that was a great recall, boys. Great recall. I don't know. That that just sounds like hopeful thinking. Alright, changelings coming on in here. Alright. Lurker sieging up the third base, so you have to pull the probes from there. Hydra Lurker Ling Bane. It's more of like Lurker Ling Bane at this point. We're sending it into the mineral line. Get out of here with that economy. Economy's for nerds. It actually be kind of. If Gunner loses this, I, I am genuinely surprised. I, I I had Gunner in the like winning, possibly winning the finals this month. Like the bracket looked just right for him. Like I I thought there was great potential for it, but not even taking third. Ooh. GG GG's Yeah GG's Well yeah but Gunner's the Protoss No I had Gunner winning GG's Damn Zergs ruining my statistics Alright well it's finals time <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and corral our finalists together, and we'll be right back. So give me a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to give our observer here just some time to time to, you know, do this with his fingers. Uh... Trust me, it'll help a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No, the players asked for a best of three. Um, specifically, um, our Zerg player asked if we could do a best of three. All right, so yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back.
All right, guys, we are back. We've got players that are doing vetoes. They're doing their thing. How are we feeling, guys? Are we enjoying it? Are we enjoying the day? People are really enjoying the Stormgate Alpha video. That makes me happy. There we are. Kill that. Oh, wait. No. I bring the recording back. <laughs> I turn the recording off and then I'm like, oh wait, we got another platinum hero. Ah, uh, we got too many heroes. Alright. All right, here we go. Guys, right, finals coming on up here. Finals. There we are. Update the title. All right, here we go. All right, guys, it's finals time. I know I've been a little bit tired today, but bringing it back. We're bringing it back, chat, all right? We're bringing it back in a big way. We're going to move up in our chair, move up towards the desk, make all the microphone noises. Yeah. There you go, all that microphone noise. All right. And here we go. Spawning here in the top right-hand side of Altitude. Give it up for LS. Drain representing the Platinum Heroes. And in the bottom left-hand side representing Platoon. Give it up for the boy wonder. It's Stranic. All right. There we go. Observer having a hard time. It's fine. All right. What are we going to get here? Some standard play. No Reaper walling from uh, our boy Stranic here. Makes him different than all, pretty much all the other, like uh, Gunner and such, what they've been doing, where they've you know, been Reaper walling today. I personally don't like Reaper walls. I think they are a problem and tend to have issues. Oh, wait. Also, I have an observer. <laughs> Why am I observing? I'm stupid. All right, NG Bay block. Let's go. Oh, big stretch. Everyone watching, big stretch. Stay stretching. It's healthy. All right, we're going to go ahead and take the linear third, so the horizontal one instead of the triangle one. That's going to be a little awkward to hold if you get attacked early on. Oh, that SCV is dead. Run. 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 No, he stopped running. Just don't stop. Run. <laughs> Run. You know that man's getting hit first. If if Stranic pushes in, he's going to find that SCV. and be like, yeah, got him. All right, Stalker into Adept. All right. <laughs> I made this joke to him earlier, and he actually listened. The Madman. Just three racks. Lol. It's easy win. This man wants to start off the series right. 1-0. <laughs> oh, 
I can hear Roddy in the distance crying somewhere in the Netherlands because Protoss is about to get three racks. It's like, oh, it's so broken. <laughs> All right. All right. My depth's gonna shade in there. You see the bunch of Marines. Sees no command center on the low ground yet. Uh, pretty, you could read this at this point, but you also could not. You could just be like, all right, maybe it's high ground expanding, whatever. What you need to do is you need to keep shading in, right? You move the adept around, send another shade in. Move the adept around, send another shade in. Oh, okay. Drain should be hiding some of these uh, marines. If you only show like five marines, they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's normal." Yeah. All right. Shows just a couple of marines. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what the reaction is here. The reaction is to send it across the map with blink. Yeah, I mean, Blink is pretty good against the three racks. You could try and bait out a stim early. Because in order to actually take down the stalkers, you need to stim. So we'll see. Now he's just going to stand there in an arc. Ah. Artosis has entered the chat. Artie and Roddy both crying out because their opponents are doing <laughs> dumb things. Protoss is standing there in an arc and Terran is three raxing. Both of them together crying. All right, we've seen it's a three rax. Now all we need to do is not die. Uh, all right, that prism just canceled its warping. Nice. All right. Colossi tech coming on up here. Presumably. Could go disruptors. Ah, Colossi feels right, though. If I'm correct, the Colossi patch hasn't hit the ladder yet. I haven't checked, so it might have. I don't think it has. And if it hasn't, we still have 10 range Colossus because we're just playing with the regular ladder patch. All right. Prism moving on out here. Got some stabby boys in it. Got plenty of re forces in position here. This observer is catching anything that moves. All right. Medivacs are here. Going to try and keep this army in fight and shape. And now pushing with two Medivacs. Obviously, it's later than a, you know you'd expect your three racks, but now your army has so much more longevity because it can heal after every stim. So this is actually going to be so much more powerful than a normal three racks hit. All right, come on, tank. Tank really wanted that kill. Alright, looks like Stalkers are about to push in towards the natural. Not going to get very far. Ghost Academy is up. We're going to get some of the Pew Pew Boys. Never say die. Yeah. There's my ghost impression. Alright, Stalkers going to come up and probably pick off this tank. Yep. Bye, tank. All right, Prism going in. Prism does not make it. Tur Turret Man 1, Prism 0.
Okay, we've got the watchtower. Terran is all along the watchtower at this point. Oh, he's going to send out a double drop, which is going to run over the pack of zealots. Well, now you know that's coming, at least. You can be ready for it. All right. That's still a lot of zealots, no matter how prepared you are, I guess. So... We're going to have to have the boys fight it out. That's why we're going to stim in. Right into Colossi. Yeah. Talk about the worst fight you could take. GG. And Stranic opening solid in game number one. Damn. To be fair, that was a crazy attack game from LS. Right there at the end. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, LS Strain's MMR is 5,100. Stranic is like about 5,200. So I guess they're within 100 of each other. Uh, Mex map. Yeah. I, I think our next games are going to get better. Like I, I think this series only gets better. All right, here we go. Game number two. Oh. There we are. Now I can say that I put it in the Discord as well for anyone who wants to watch LS Drain absolutely stop here because of course he is. Yeah, Doubter's going to be in shambles real quick when he turns this around. All right. Spawning here in the bottom right-hand side with the Terran pieces representing Platinum Heroes. Give it up for LS Drain. And his opponent in the top left hand side with the red probes representing Platoon. Give it up for Stranic. The Splatoon Platoon boys. Huh. Where are you going, Mr. SCV? Uh, someone ping Chris real quick. This is his area of expertise. A single racks halfway across the map. No, Frog is a three rack, sir. Come on, know your Terrans. If it's less than three, it's Chris. If it's more, if it's three or more, it it's uh, Frog. If you proxy eight racks, then you just call it Vindicta. You're like, yo, Vindicta, I got a thing here for you. And he goes, you're stupid. You go, yep. <laughs> Proxy eight racks. I guess the highest you could theoretically do is a proxy five racks. Because you're just doing five racks free, but at their base instead of yours. All right. Tech lab. What is he doing? One, one racks proxy marauder. Huh? No. It is Proxy Marauder. I thought it was going to be the Proxy Ghost Bill. Oh, no. Well, the jig is up. The news is out. He finally found me. No. All right. Bar is going to show him what it means to be a ranged unit. All 
All right, bunkers going down. We're really going to be pushing the issue here. All right, grenades are flying. I mean, this Nexus isn't going to die anytime soon. You can just let it eat damage. All right. Immortal's coming on up here on the back of Adept. So we're going to do Adept Immortal. All right. This is interesting. Stargate coming on up here. CC coming on up in the main. What are we doing here? Tech Lab? All right. Raven? Probably a Raven. Hmm. This is a bit of a pickle we found ourselves in. This is a weird game. Cloaked Banshees. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that one. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> All right. Go, my big overlord. Go and fly and be free. All right. That is going to get cracked immediately. All right, away the prism goes. Mm. All right, prism sending it on into the main. Alliance just double checking, see if he's going to take his natural. Cloaking field almost done for the Banshees. All right, we managed to lock on to the most useless part of that. All right, Banshee's getting some good shots in here. We're going to start the micro with the prism here. All right. Everything's a bit bruised up now. Oh, Stranic wants more. Oh, he really wants more. He really wants more. All right. right, Banshees are off to do their own adventure. All right, force out a cloak here from LS Drain nice and early. Beautiful play. All right. I'm going to give up on our natural because there's a couple stalkers there. All right, Banshees have come back home. Maybe he's a little bit concerned about the army outside of his door. Maybe he, you know, is F2ing a little bit. A little bit of both, probably. The truth, I suspect, is somewhere in the middle there. All right, that's the classic immortal worker harass. All right. All right, Banshee's go a little bit forward there. Got to take some beating. Oh, Prism just makes it by the boy. <laughs> oh, rip the Viking. All right, Viking is here now. Oh, oh, 
Oh, look at this sick micro. What? What? That was some sick micro. All right. Yeah, this Protoss army is just kind of get, kind of just gets deleted. <laughs> Tanks, good unit. Who would have thought? Someone should have told him that. Someone should tell Stranic that a tank is a very good unit and you probably shouldn't just stand there and let it kill you. Alright. When you're not really sure where to go from here, and especially when you're behind, there's only one thing to do. Build the Dark Shrine. Always build a Dark Shrine. You can't go wrong with invisible men. Yeah, look at them. They're pretty invisible and they're... Oh my god, this scan just misses this one. Alright, I guess the one working on that mineral line. Alright, that one got got by a scan. Oh, Zerver gets caught in the crossfire of forcing out turrets. Oh, slice, slice, slice. Yo, Tater, how you doing? All right, 11 SCV is dead. Shranik is probably pretty happy with that. Considering how far down he was on workers. Alive-ish. That's always unfortunate. You should always be thriving. I want to see you thrive, my friend. I don't want to see you just alive. I want to see you thriving. Oh. No blink. Oh, we do have blink. Ah, we just blinked super late. Oh. Uh, how you feeling? Did it do what it was supposed to do? Did the surgery surger properly? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. That's good. As long as it's healing well. <laughs> you less holy. Get the holy water. Just dump it on them. Bucket loads at a time. Just Ideally, ice cold. At 3 a.m. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Alivish is good. In that case, Alivish is fine. I'd say, you know, yeah, in a moment like this. Oh, the Banshees are going to get shut down. Oh, the target firing is even good. Bro. Don't mind me. I got like four-ish hours of sleep last night. So my body is, uh, my, my brain's a struggle bus today. Oh, fuck that. Oh, 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 oh. oh, no. I'm beating the fuck out of someone if they do that to me. Bro. I'm about to turn that dead rattlesnake into a whip. Hell nah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fist fought my brother a lot. I only have one, so it's a little bit easier. Yeah, no, I, I would. <laughs> yeah, literal hell at that age. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That is just a boys being boys moment. That is, that is literally just like being the older brothers of younger brothers. 
All right, scan's going down. Oh, game sounds. Broke. That was weird. There we are. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. What are you doing, Marauder? I don't even think the Marauder knows what the Marauder's doing. Oh my god, he just got sliced into pieces. I don't want to be the one who leaves it in pieces. Oh no. Ah, we've all got something wrong with us. It's whatever. You fit right in, don't worry. You see, it's you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about the people who tell you they have issues. You have to worry about the people who say that they have no issues. Oh god, mech is good. Yeah. Alright. Mac is a good thing. Mac is a good thing. Mac's a good thing. All right. A big surround on this tank line. And we will crack it. Oh, bye, Prism. <laughs> yeah, just nope. We're done. We're done. That was fun. I'ma go now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Stranic is good. Stranic don't mess around. <laughs> yeah, that's absolute brood war moment. No, Stranding's 5-2 and change. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm the party host. Fuck. Uh. Yeah, let's see. Stranding's pulse. He put... Uh, while we wait for everyone. Yeah, his max MMR is 5216 in the last 30 days. Yeah, not bad, but, you know. Not hyper cracked. All right. All right, guys, game number three. We got a lobby. And by we got a lobby, I mean I made the lobby, so we definitely have a lobby. Now we're just waiting for the players to ready up. All right, there we go. We got the OKs. We're sending it in, chat. Send it in. Here we go. All right. Nice right, game number three. Drum roll. All right, guys, spotting here in the top left-hand side with the green SCVs. Give it up for our hero, L.S. Drain. And his opponent in the bottom right-hand side. Match point for him. Victory is just, just within reach. Can he grab it? Can he grab it and bring it home? This is our boy, Stranic, representing Platoon.
All right, guys. What do we think? Do we think Shranik takes it? Do we think LS can pull a map? I want to. I I'm an LS believer. I'm a drainer. Let's go. Drainers unite. Drainers rise up. Drainer believers. <laughs> Let's get a series. All right. No proxy shenanigans this time. All honorable macro building placements. Stranic is going to go for that Reaper wall, which, once again, I'm not a huge fan of personally, but I see why they're useful. Okay. <laughs> All right. Reaper got a kill, guys. GG. GG. Reaper got a kill. Doesn't matter that the probe was waiting for the Reaper. Reaper got a kill. GG. Easy. I, I, it's game over. Come on, my boys. This Reaper is checking for any sort of silly shenanigans that may be afoot. We got Robo coming on up at home. Yeah, I think Stranic missed the memo. You're supposed to build your Robo in the middle of the map. If there's anything I learned from Protoss players in Europe, is that you take your Robo and you put it in the middle of the map next to a gateway. And then you have two gateways at home. And then you call it the three gate robo and you just kind of win. <laughs> All right. Pop. Oh, Reaper's in. Oh, get out of here. Don't tase me, bro. Seize the... Man, sees the uh, react the reactor, uh, the Robo Bay. Blah, blah, blah. I'm struggling, guys. We're down bad over here, chat. We're down bad. But yeah, he sees the Robo cooking away, so you have an idea of what's coming. All right. Look at the heck am I kicking? I'm kicking the power cable for my monitor. That's true. It is the robo facility. The robotics facility as opposed to the robotic support bay. Alright. We're going to go Raven here. So we will be able to spot these um, observers and deal with them. Eggs? No, no eggs here. No, I didn't order eggs. Sir, I don't I don't really like eggs. Oh no no, I ordered extra bacon. <laughs> exactly, okay. Sentry was helping mine minerals. Sentry's like, come on, probe, you can do it. Oh, damn it. Bad puns in my channel? Mm-mm, can't have that, band. Get this guy the fuck out of here. Oh, no, the raven. That was expensive. That was very expensive. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to say that um, Alice Drain's done a little bit more damage. Just a little bit.
This man's done the micro challenges before. Got him. Dude, there's that one micro challenge where you have to do a mortal juggle and you have to do it perfectly. Like you already have to do it perfectly to not to not mess up. Like in order to actually win, you have to do it perfectly. And then it's just about how perfect you do it. And I can't do it. It's so hard. Prism juggling with like that level of precision is so hard. Cause you just have like this short little runway. You have to kill all the roaches by before you get to the end. And then like the grades are just how much time you have left. And I'm like, I, I can't kill them all. Like I just can't. It requires so much precision. And I'm literal heart, hot garbage at this game. All right, guys, we've got the Colossi, we've got the Thermal Lance, and we are extending it. Which, um, can anyone confirm? Is the, um, is the ladder have the bug still? Yeah, is the, um, is the ladder still using the 10 range? Yeah. All right, so Stranic is going to win. Stranic's got it on easy mode, guys. Nice, nice, nice. Using friendly fire. Well, I could, but Thermal Lance isn't done yet. Because the plus one comes on after Thermal Lance. Bye, Prism. And now, and no, you can't because this is the observer overlay. It doesn't have the um, icons like you do when you're playing. Shame, shame, shame. All right, scan goes down, sees the tail end of the armor, armor, army, the armor, murmur, -mur. ah, you good. I mean, I clearly also didn't remember that because I didn't even think to say, like, oh, yeah, you just can't do it in this overlay. I, like, went to do it. <laughs> oh, look at those swipes. Oh, God, those swipes are sexy. Backline tank's really good, though. I mean, Terran just lost a lot, but Protoss lost everything. Hey, guys, I think he's doing it. Guys, I think he's doing it. He's giving us a fight. Come on. Let's go drain. Let's go drain. Let's go drain. Let's go drain. Guys, is he doing it? Guys, is... Is it copium time? Guys, is, is tearing Tasagi, guys? Tasagi? Terranimba? Is it Imba or do I suck? Tasagi confirmed. Yeah, everyone knew. Everyone knows Terran's good. Mm -hmm. All right, Prism gonna go on out here. Drop a couple of zealots. Oh, we could set up a huge flank here. just collapse on the Terran army. Yeah, I could see something like this happening. Especially as the Terran army here gets more and more like confined to this ramp. The army is really condensed. The tanks are no longer spread out. They're now just in a line. If you're just going to push in and try and wipe over them, this would be the 
This is like the perfect time to have it done. All right. What are we gonna do? Tanks are shelling away at the Nexus. We're gonna have to act. There we go. Send it in. The Zeldas get crushed. The Colossi get crushed. Drain does it. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Ah, you'll love to see it. Bringing it home. We got us a series, boys. All right. All right. That puts us next. Map number four. Because we're going to go to game four. Because the series isn't over. We've got a hand on our series, boys. Ah, why does my series have so many hands? <laughs> I don't understand. I feel like Maru. Not because I'm playing good. Okay. <coughs> Ellis Drain says he's playing like Maru simply because he just wants to win quick. Huh? I didn't do it. Ah, uh, wasn't me. Got me on camera. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Was it me? Was it me? All right. Spawning here in the top right hand side with the green SCVs. Give it up for LS Drain. Bottom left. Red probes playing for platoon. Give it up for Stranic. Lock Lock admits that he's having he's paying people to throw. Got it. Uh yeah, uh Gunner One. You can check the um bracket too, it should be updated. Lock Lock, this isn't Kespa. You can't just pay people to throw, alright? Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> God, I'd need a dedicated observer going forward. This is the life. Just like, yeah. I, I know, I mean for like my future events, right? I mean, next CSL and anything else. Oh, was it Rada? What? Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, Gunner had that. Yeah, Gunner had that huge collapse. That's right. It is absolutely through. I forgot. Thank you for double checking. All right. Yeah, I hear command center on the low ground this time. Nice. Yeah. All right. Groover's going to be asked politely yet firmly to leave by the adept.
and the Reaper will comply like a polite house guest. The depth's still hunting. He's like, yeah, you're still on my property. This is still my lawn. Need you to get the fuck out of here. Nope. Yeah, let's move out of the bunker range. Alright. Free SCV, that's cool. Drained microing this Reaper with his heart out and Stranax just not paying attention. Alright. Cars are coming. Oh, shade not quite enough to grab this. Oh, the other deck misses it too. What a shame. Come on, Drain. You got this. All right. Oracle is going to go ahead and perceive some dead SCVs. Twilight Council coming on up here. All right. All right. Yeah. We got the Reaper Hellion here to help deal with the Oracle. You know, because Reapers and Hellions are very well known for their ability to shoot up. Oh my god, six SCVs and he lives. Go, 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 go. Don't stop, just keep running. Run, Forest, run. No! No, Charlie. Look out for Charlie. Oh, he's going to make it home safe, chat. What a giga chat. However, we got some damage coming in. Oh, those shots weren't synced. Otherwise, that would have been huge. All right, equal damage done on either side. Except the Oracle survived and a Reaper Hellion died for a drain. Alright, let's check the income graph. You can see where Stranic got a bit of an advantage, but Elastrain got a very big advantage. So I think that was a good drop. I think that I think that did its job right. I think that was the good. Oh, there's charge. Oh, no. Forrest the Oracle. All right. Oracle will survive to tag another day. Gonna go out and explore the world a little bit. You know, see what there is to see. Tag, you're it. Alright. Hellion's just driving around, having a good time. They're just driving some F1 circuit. They're like, oh, let's go this way. All right. They're going to cut through these rocks real quick. Shink, shink, shink. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's a good stasis. Yeah, it's a little much for two zealots, though. Uh, Oracle? Oracle, please run. Nope, Oracle's dead. Bye, Oracle. Rip. Rip the boy. 
It's a great question. You think it's similar to um, everyone's favorite blue crystal? Apologies again. All right. Yeah, this game's pretty even right now. I mean, Stranic is up maybe a couple too many workers. But we're about to two base pushover. Eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. <laughs> no, that's my other favorite blue crystal. Where's my spoon? Uh, I got my lighter. Oh, beautiful armor hit. We brought the boys. You know what's going on here. We got ghosts. We got boys. Like We got it all. We disabled an Archon. Oh, we're getting feedback. Oh, my God. And that still might not be enough. No, no, that has to be enough. Right? That has to have been enough to hold. There's no way you lose still. Pew, 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 pew. All right, yeah, no. Zelda's are ripping across the other side of the map. That's GG. I do think that is going to be GG here. Beautiful splits on the Zealots. Excuse me, Stranic. What the fuck was that? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Terran's now literally in shambles. He, it was an all-in. It's like the four pool. You don't macro your way out of the four pool. You just, you win or you lose. All right. Now Stranded can just hit F2, A move, and then select his opponent's main. And he'll, yeah, he'll be fine. I genuinely don't see any way that he can lose from here. Oh, especially now with Colossi, yeah. GG's. Well played. Stranic will take the series in a 3-1 to one victory. GG's. Proto Star League. True. <laughs> GG's. That was so well played on both sides. I, I can't even like... I, there's no being upset with that result. That was beautiful on both sides. And that was GG's all around, for sure. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Mm, where? Let's see, what's on Twitch? That's all I've got for you today, guys. I'm going to go find someone to show some love to. Uh, let's see here, what do we got here? Do I recognize any of these smaller ones? Uh, I don't. All right, we'll hit up. We'll hit up some Dave Testa. I love me some Dave Testa. We should all love some Dave Testa. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate every one of you for being here. And I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat and get some sleep. I need both of those, like, aggressively. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.